right, hello. Welcome to Adventures in Lollygagging. We are playing Hunter of the Reckoning tonight. We are continuing our, uh, our what was it, Your City Lies in Dust Chronicle. I almost forgot the name of the campaign for a while. Uh, but yeah, we're continuing this. We uh, we had a very sad uh, sad last episode as uh, as Melissa killed uh, the first character of the uh of the of the chronicle, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I want to say those things, but then you don't react, so it's like ah, <laughs> blast you, like ah, oh well. Well, at first but, I was like, oh, that's right, the woman that fell off the balcony <laughs> was the first. Yeah, and killed her. Then Elaine, and then Elaine died. Yeah, <laughs> hey Bird, how's yeah. it going? Yeah, that on stuff. top. <laughs> um but yeah we had a it was a rough session actually uh but only one uh one hunter person uh, one you know member of the cell died uh so so that's okay but uh unfortunately the dangers that you all were facing uh last time around are still out there as nothing was really resolved uh so mm -hmm. we'll see where that goes uh we have uh we have steven for another week uh for another episode as long as uh still in uh in in japan and I think he'll be back next time we play. Uh, but uh, why don't we go ahead and do some intros, and uh, we'll get started. So, Stephen, tell us what you know about Rena Cooper. All right, starting with the new guy. Uh, perfectly fine. Yeah, uh, I'm playing Rena Cooper, who is a Gen Z uh, gig economy worker. Uh, I am a hunter by app. Uh Every now and then, uh, I, I take a job. Uh, this current job has led us to a vampire in a retirement community. Uh, so we've got a lot to figure out. And I've also learned uh, that Rena can never trust Rust in a high stakes situation. Hey, Rust stopped to save her life and make sure she got over the fence. That's true. That's true. We also got in a lot of shit because of Rust, but that's okay. Hey. Next time, give me a knife. <laughs> I was thinking more trust him in high stress situations or low stress situations or <laughs> Rena's thoughts on Rust, not ours. She's she usually works so low. She's got okay. valid points. All valid Better points. Better really. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, um, Ashley, why, do we? Well, now nah, you know what? Just, just nah, introduce. We'll wait. Yeah, no, we'll wait. You want to wait? Okay, yeah, we can we'll wait. wait. We'll introduce it. All right, that makes sense. But you can kind of see that Ash has got a new character up and ready, who's been loosely referenced once or twice, I think, in the Chronicle, but we'll get into a proper introduction shortly. Uh, we will then shift down to the bottom row. We have Aaron. Tell us about Kyoti Rust. Sister! What's my name, sister? Who am I? Sister, you gotta know. I mean, I know you call me Quixote Ross, but we both know that was just just a name that the orderlies and the nurses gave me in that in that hellhole, in that in that home for the insane. But you gotta know who am I? Come on, sister. No, I uh, I spent I, ten years uh, and she was clawing away at me. Those tarry black webs holding me down while she was parroting my body around. She never let me out, but I, every once in a while, I would get glimpses of faces, but I don't know their names. I don't know my name, sister. I know, sister. I know it's not really important anymore. I know. I, I understand, sister. Yes, I'm very thankful that you got me out of that place, and I'm glad that you trained me to be a vengeful apostate for the light in the never-ending guerrilla war against the darkness and the monsters it breeds. And I'm very thankful that you brought me this wonderful squad to help me. But sister, I gotta know, but do you hear that? Do you hear that that song, sister? I, I don't hear the anything, it, Rust. The itsy bitsy spider. What? No, no, sister, I'm okay. I'm okay. She's not, she's not back, sister. It's all right. I'm a, Quixote Rust is a fine name. That's that's who I am. I'm a I'm a soldier for the light, sister. Now, behind the screens, I spent my XP last week on getting another perk for my Repel the Undead Edge. I picked up Creature Specialization Vampire, because after facing his first vampire, Rust is freaked the hell out. And his special gifts are focusing on protecting him from that blood-sucking leech. 
Yeah. That's a good choice, I think. Uh, I don't know. I think that uh, that might come in handy. I think. Pretty quickly. I am Pretty concerned quickly. about the flaw that I selected, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm very excited. <laughs> it fit with her character too well that I couldn't like deny it. So wait, uh... is it in your is it in your sheet? Oh yeah, if you want to look. All right, I'm looking for it now. Uh, let's go to Melissa. Melissa, tell us about <laughs> Maria Baum. Why I look up how I'm gonna kill Ashes two character. <laughs> uh, so Maria uh, is our uh, blue collar inquisitive. Uh, she is a plumber by trade. Uh, hasn't really been doing a whole lot of that lately. Uh, feels very, very bad about the uh, events of last episode and watching the old woman tumble off the balcony and Elaine dying. I keep looking at Zoom and seeing the new name. <laughs> it takes me a second to remember the old name. She doesn't um, even remember your name, Ashley. <laughs> oh, God. Oh no! I always do the look All and verify just in case. I made your 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 van dirty with my blood. <laughs> oh, God damn right. it! <laughs> oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. Uh, so, uh, also spent some uh, XP since the last episode, and felt like she would be in sort of a angry sort of a mood after the events of uh, last episode. So I uh, put. One pip each in brawl and intimidation, because that just felt right. So this is Maria Mad at the World. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah, Mad at the World. Uh, but should you be Mad at the World, or maybe just yourself? I don't know. Just you know, maybe just maybe instead of outward, turn turn a little of that inward, a little mm, introspection yeah. there. I, I I don't I don't see Maria as being uh, no. Nope, man at the world. Okay. All right, man at the world. Okay. <laughs> it's just man at the world. All right. Let's uh all right, let's dive in. So uh let's talk about what happened last time. So last time we we for the last two sessions, we basically had two different groups. We kind of been split. Uh we've we had uh I think it was uh, Elaine and Maria who went to the Whitehall Advanced Care Center, and we had uh Rena, Rust, and Alvin who went to Sunset Trails. Now the White at the White Whitehall Advanced Care Center, Elaine, you were in a fugue state after encountering some creature. You actually don't even know really. We don't even really know yet. You mm. could probably I think there's suspicions, obviously, but we don't even really know just yet exactly everything that just went down. But you wandered off the premises, you started climbing over the gate, and you disappeared up this dark mountain. That the uh, that the actual care center was built on the slopes of Maria, you were compelled by some kind of elderly patient, and you were kind of wandering around, kind of holding hands a little bit, and you continued up the stairwell to the top floor of the the main building of the three uh, three buildings of the complex. Uh, eventually, you got led out onto a balcony where you were trying to signal for Katya because you knew that Katya, your mentor, was somewhere uh, on the grounds. And eventually she arrived, but she found the doors were somehow bound or jammed in some way. And as you separated from this elderly patient to try to open up those doors, the patient, who kept saying, help me, help me, help me, just launched themselves over the railing and fell like four or five flights of stairs down, landing in this gardened area. Uh, by gardened, I mean like desert landscaping, so rock, stone, etc. Now, this kind of created a bit of a situation as you and Katya then ran as fast as you could outside, trying to find where Elaine went. Uh, but in doing so, you were you were spotted uh, by workers at Whitehall, who then also spotted the the dead patient on the ground, presumably dead patient, uh, and they called the authorities. You think? You hope? You, maybe. Uh, now, you and Katya got outside. You jumped the wall, and you eventually tracked down Elaine. But Elaine, unfortunately, had been getting uh, she was a pack of coyotes were just like tearing through her at that point. Uh, you and Katya managed to to fight them off, but it was just too little, too late. Uh, as as you were trying to escape with uh, with Elaine, you had to run back down to your to your van. You kind of loaded up, and you're trying to get a, you're going to go try to get her some sort of medical attention. But that's when the authorities started coming up. You started seeing seeing and hearing sirens, and you went off road and like kind of drove almost almost down this slope of the mountain, and you got away. 
presumably, but unfortunately, along the way, Maria did uh, did perish. She did bleed out, uh, and that is the end of that section. Now, elsewhere, over at Sunset Trails, this uh, retirement community, uh, this kind of high end luxury uh, trailer park home, you know, trailer park community that that is was sort of built behind a, a almost too large wall uh, right in the desert out west uh, of, of the valley. Rust and Rena, you took advantage of the fact that there was this chaos that was happening because moments before last session began, uh, this this chartered bus came into the in the into the community and unloaded a bunch of what looked like homeless folk and then just sent them out into the circuitous neighborhood itself, shut all the lights off, and it was just like free reign. Everyone was hunting, chasing them down. And so you took advantage of the light security and you tried to get into the clubhouse. Uh, this this large building, the only building with lights, to start snooping around. You found a few ghouls that were setting up these plastic tarps in the main hall, and you got into a fight. Uh, I think it was Rena who pulled the trigger of a very loud gun, which drew some attention. What? 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 This dude's like, what? I, I don't, I don't have any connection to this character. I can do what I want. I'm gonna get everyone killed. Um, and that, uh, that kind of drew, drew some extra folks. Now you guys are holding your own in your fight. Uh, you're actually doing doing decently well. Uh, but eventually they called out for their master, and that's when uh, a figure emerged from the second floor uh, in this kind of dark duster-like, uh, like, but you know, duster, duster-like trench coat kind of peered out of these these ornate doors uh, at the top of the uh, at the top of the stairs. Presumably a vampire. At that point, you all just booked it and you started running. You got out into the. Uh, into the actual neighborhood, but you heard this strange call coming back from the vampire that seemed to kind of rile up or refocus this huge group of strange old folk that were running around tearing these 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 uh, homeless folk. Uh, you made it to the wall where Alvin had finally come back. He had a flare. He had the car ready. You jumped into the car. You drove away, and you saw that like effortlessly hopping from the top of each each you know trailer to each trailer you saw the figure of the 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 sort of vampire woman you think and they kind of watched you go into the darkness so we're going to pick up uh, a couple i think we're going to say we want to do a couple days later maybe um and cuz we've had a death uh at some point everybody alvin rust rena you all get notified uh, from Maria. You get some kind of message, uh, and and through however you want to communicate, you you learn of Elaine's death. Uh, so we're gonna pick up at something like a kind of like a hunter wake. Uh, and Ashley, you were telling me a little bit about what what kind of place is it where they would be meeting up. What do you think? Okay, so I had some fun googling bars today, and I have decided. <laughs> Um, there's this place called Stardust Pin Bar. Okay. And it's just kind of like a themed bar that has like a private room that we probably rented. Okay. All right. So you go to this. I don't, I have no idea what this place is. So what is this? <laughs> I, what's it called again? I'm gonna Stardust look Pin Bar. Stardust Pin Bar. Oh, God. What on earth is this? Oh, my goodness. It's a, it's a pinball bar. Oh, okay. All right. So we're having a wake, and there's like the lights and the yep. chimes in the back. Sounds of colorful <laughs> pinball chimes in the back. Okay. Well, if you want to make sure no one overhears you and you exactly. have some amount of privacy, very true. Pinball machines okay. in the background is a way to do it. So here's what we're going to say you get there, everyone's kind of slowly kind of making their way. Uh, and it is a, it's a busy, it's a busy night. Uh, you can see there's plenty of folks there that are uh, taking taking advantage of these pinball machines uh, and this extraordinarily colorful floor I'm seeing on the pictures. Uh, mm-hmm. And there's, uh, we'll say there's there's probably some kind of uh, private room that you get some access to, uh, whatever it Jeff's might be. Acting like he hasn't been there before. I have never even heard of it, my friend. Never sure even heard of it. Sure you haven't. <laughs> First time ever. And uh, let's see. Who would be there? Maria, you would probably be there. Alvin would probably be there. All right. Would Rust, would Rust kind of go and sort of commiserate? 
What do we think? Muted. Rust Rust would show up. He would he would come up to the bar, but he would be very nervous because he's not old enough to drink and he has mm-hmm. no legal identification. So he would have tried to sneak in probably through the kitchen okay. to get back in there. Maria would, because uh, we've, it's canon that Maria is a smoker. So I would say that Maria would try to like go out the back to like grab a smoke and then like try to like let you Let in. him in. Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. So you do that. You let him in. Uh, what about Rena? Would Rena be there? Uh, your friend, uh, Katya is, we'll say probably Katya joins Maria, your mentor. And Katya has kind of been Rena's old friend of Rena's mom. So would, would Rena go to this little, I think get together? Rena would go just because, uh, she's hoping that we'd plan more about the vampire, you know, if not for Elaine, just for practicality. Okay. So, uh, yeah. How old is Rena? I might be underage too. Uh, uh, I think early twenties. I I just vaguely said. Okay, uh, we'll say twenty, and I get in with my fake ID, and I uh, would see. I probably wouldn't see Rust if he's around back. Never mind. Okay, eventually though, you'll get back, and we'll say that there's like maybe a couple different private rooms here. There maybe like three or four, and they all kind of connect to like this main this main game area, bar, all that kind of stuff. And there's other things going on. Maybe there's a birthday or something that's happening somewhere, like the complete opposite. Uh, and so we hear just these loud sounds. This, this is probably not the right music. Let me get some, I don't know. I have like cyberpunk bar music. Let's Maybe it's that. You maybe didn't maybe. prep anything festive, like happy birthday or anything? I <laughs> didn't realize we'd be at a pinball bar. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought the dark ambiance of, the, of the, <laughs> the campaign was going to be continued here, but no, no. Um, <laughs> Okay, so so you you get there. Uh, so all of you are there. Um, we'll say, okay, so we'll say you, you're sitting down and kind of commiserating, talking. You got Katya there, maybe Katya, Maria. You, you two are kind of going over some things. You're, you've got like your, your phones out. You're kind of flipping through the news. There's this, there's this video kind of going around on uh on local social media for for maricopa for for phoenix valley and you can see that there's this there's this story all all week that has been going around about this the death of an elderly woman a patient uh, by the name of grace adelman uh at the at at whitehall advanced care clinic uh it's a name you've never heard before Uh, it's not the name that was uttered uh, by your uncle Uh, it's just a name uh, and you can see that there's interviews with with some of the the staff uh, at, uh, at at Whitehall Advanced Care Clinic talking about like the confusion, what happened. Everyone's so concerned, and you get the family as well. They just want answers, and like some information comes out. You learn that Grace was there for hospice services. She was in the Eastern Annex. She wasn't even supposed to be in the main building, but for some reason she fell from the top floor of kind of the main building. And that two women were seen fleeing the scene and are wanted for questioning. And you can see that there's mm. a video that keeps kind of cycling around this blurry footage of you and Katya running through the main hall. Like you're, you're you can see like there's a, a section uh, as you're getting out of like the stairs and you're running outside. Like you're caught. You're clearly caught. It's a little grainy. It's not perfect, but you know exactly that it's you know it's you. Katya knows it's you. Anybody who probably knows you well knows it's you. And then by the end of the by the end of the the news news feeds, it's authorities haven't ruled out foul play, right? Mm. So that's one of the things. So maybe you and Katya are kind of huddled around that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, as you know, plans are kind of being discussed here or there. All of a sudden, a figure stands in the middle of the doorway and it looks around. For a moment, it almost looks like they were kind of going to the wrong place, but then she kind of sees maybe a few of you. Maybe there's, I don't know, are we doing a full-on wake? Maybe there's an actual picture of Elaine somewhere and and we see her push in. What does she look like there, uh, Ashley? What does this, this figure look like? So... Currently, she's wearing just some good old cowboy boots, some jeans, 
and she's got her hair held back with like a bandana and she's got braids double braids uh she's an older woman um kind of stout sturdy uh, and her skin is very tanned and kind of leathery because of all the work she does outside and uh so i guess this is the place That, that depends what what place you're looking for. What happened to Elaine? Uh, uh, Maria. Yeah, yeah somebody's yeah. here to talk to you. Uh, can, can I wasn't there. I don't know what happened to her. That that's 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 very true. Uh, yes, ma'am. Can I help you? Yeah. What happened to Elaine? Uh, may I ask who? Uh, you are and how you uh, come to be here you know who i am you guys use my tracking my dart gun my tracking gun ah uh, that was that was uh quite useful uh maria uh nice to make your acquaintance i uh, wish it were under better circumstances and she'll like roughly reach out her hand and give you a very firm handshake dina maria maria's handshake is uh not too unfirm either <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, uh, that tracking device sure, uh, came in handy early on. Uh, unfortunately, there was some, uh, uh, mind games going on, and, uh, she was kind of in a state, and... She got ate by coyotes, well, yeah, and I wasn't that, there. That, that is God, the... Jesus Christ. Yes. She uh, got eaten by coyotes? Un unfortunately he does I thought you guys were supposed to deal with the weird shit what the fuck is that well unfortunately sometimes the things that takes us out are the uh, everyday things that cross our path while we're trying to deal with the so she's just not things. like ignoring me not laying like she's dead dead uh, yeah this, this was not a uh, viewing kind of a situation unfortunately if you uh, catch my drift she was supposed to help me with, with the stuff in my stables. I, we've, unfortunately, we uh, didn't keep our group together, and we had two different things going on, and we unfortunately took both of them on on the same evening, and that. Don't uh, you have study animals? You got to go as a pack. You got one leader animal, usually the head of the pack, and but y'all stay together and you protect the pack. We we were just stretched a little bit then, and I I I, I take your meaning. Uh, by way of introduction, this is Rust, uh, this is Katja, and that's Rena. Rena's not even looking; she has her earbuds in. Don't worry, I don't, don't like her either. <laughs> Yeah. So. You mentioned something about stables? Yeah, uh, I, I work at a stable out by Sunset Trails. Uh, some of my animals have been drained. Well, that was um, how was we thinking, were actually I, split up. Maybe it's like a chupacabra. Like, I don't know if that's real or not, but like, uh, it could be. Russ, do you want to take this? That was actually where you all were. Oh, well. It's not a chupacabra. No, 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 no. No. It's a vampire. An honest-to-God vampire. Spit from the bowels of hell to drain the blood of hey, the righteous. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're caught. Yeah, just go. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah. So, sorry, Katya. I, yeah, um, so, uh, a whole bunch of old people on some weird drugs and maybe um, maybe we'll some talk about this later and a uh, vampire. But shh, I had to break my phone again over that. I mean I don't even have a new one. Maria hasn't given me one yet. Are you the reason why why Elaine said I should keep extra phones in my car? I yes. I don't I don't know what I, I am. Yes. I, you, I, I I guess I, I guess I am, yes. He he um you can't be too careful. They're listening. 
he all always the time makes sure he switches it's like every time he makes a call he breaks the phone and gets a new phone almost that's no true they're, they're always listening Lever. i mean you've seen the video maria's they already got i i've been telling her if I, I could break both her cheekbones and her nose, and then she wouldn't look like anything on that video, but she won't let me do it. I was really just going to go with hair dye and a hat. That seemed much less painful for me to uh, handle things this way. Um, uh, this, is a, this is a lot to take in. I think we're supposed to say like words about Elaine while we're here. I Elena will take out an airbud. Uh, I'm going up for another round. Anyone want anything? Yeah, can you get me something strong? Yeah, you need to deal with deal with these people. Can I uh can I have a glass of, of water? No ice, just water. <laughs> like I would get you anything stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Rena, as you go to leave, you kinda of almost bump into this server who's coming to your to your room. And she has a, 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 a big old tray. And you can see that there's this this glass. There's, or excuse me, there's this tall bottle of wine, and there's all of these different wine glasses. And she she brings it in, and she's like, "Oh, oh, oh excuse me, pa- pardon me. I'm so very sorry. Uh, I'm just a um, is a this is the uh, this is the great Graves party. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Was this a, supposed to be a help yourself situation, or are you supposed to be coming through? We haven't seen any waitresses or anything. Oh. Well, no, I, I can help you, but I gotta, I gotta deliver this first, if you don't mind. Can I, can I get through? Come on yeah. in. So she, she comes in. She's like, uh, "Well, here you go. This is a. There's a. There's a fella outside, uh, in the uh, over by the bar. Uh, he, uh, he asked me to, to bring this on in for you. Uh, and so, uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's on the house. Uh, it's paid for. And uh, nothing you gotta worry about. It. It ain't gonna be on your tab or anything like that. Whatever you." Whatever your deal is with the with the manager, you know, for the room, that's that's separate. This is this is this is just but uh, offers his his condolences and such and uh, but but he, 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 here you go. Yeah, it's a very good uh, uh it's a very good wine actually. Uh, funny thing is we don't even really serve wine, uh, but mm. uh, uh, it made some sort of exception or something. I I, I don't know. But anyway, here 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 you go. Did 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 you have the wine here at the bar? Or did he bring it? Uh, I guess uh, he he I don't he he and my manager did uh, he talked to my manager and manager let him bring something fancy in or something and asked what he it is. I mean, he's look still at up it. at the bar. Yeah, and he kind of shows it up like, look at that year. Like I wasn't even born yet. Like <laughs> well, that's crazy. Rust uh, knocks the bottle to the ground. He's like, don't drink it. Oh, uh, uh, I, I'm not well, going to pay for that. that um, I, I'm I'm sorry. I got, I'm clumsy. That's right, Maria, right? I'm clumsy. You you are very clumsy. And I mean, it is a good rule of thumb. Uh, to... I, no, we owe this nice man a thank you for this bottle. Yes. yes Rena, we, you said yes. you're heading to the bar. Let's go thanks this, this guy. Yeah, let's go. Russ puts his hand in his pocket to his cheap 32 revolver that he's gotten quite fond of. How have Let's I not go. taken that from you? <laughs> no, no, no. You stay. <laughs> Does he you still stay. have it? Does he still have it? I don't like you and I don't listen to you. It's okay if I go, right, Maria? I, I think because you are not 21, it might be a good idea for you to stay here. Right. We'll have the conversation. You can hear my raised voice. I know my voice carries. If we need you to come out, you will hear me. But I I'll, think it might I'll be best you. for you to stay. You put me on the speakerphone so I can listen in. I'll be ready. Boomer, why don't you are do they, some babysitting here? Are they always like this? What is what is happening? They're they're so annoying. They're so annoying. This um, is why I like animals. They're so much easier to get along with. All right, Bubbles. You and you and our uh, new friend here go have a conversation with our uh benefactor of open alcohol and Russ and I will nah, stay we, here. We ladies should go. He can hang out with, with Yeah, you go, Maria. I don't I don't I don't I don't trust Rena. She's not a nice person. Put my earbud back in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Out okay. the door we go to the mystery All gentleman. Right. 
three of you go out into the, the bar area, very busy. You see there's at least, you know, 15, 20 people out here, either at the bar or kind of playing pinball and stuff like that. It's a little noisy. Uh, bartenders kind of there, kind of filling drinks and stuff. You see a couple people coming and going into some of the different private rooms and everything. And the the server, she points out, so that, that that's him. That's him right over there, right on the right on the corner. And uh, you see him kind of, he kind of looks up and he's kind of holds his hand up and he waves and kind of holds up what looks like a, a wine glass. Uh, Rena, Dina, you you don't recognize him. Maria, it's Doctor Wendell Drebin. Oh, and you hear him just be like, mm. ah. and he kind of like kind of waves you down. He's got his, his nice smile on his face again. This guy's like in his yeah, in his forties or so, maybe late forties. Attractive looking man, uh, but kind of you know pretty clean cut. Nothing nothing necessarily like his hair kind of ni- nicely combed. Kind of dressed night, probably dressed a little nicer for this place than most people. He's not in a full on suit, but you know you know he's kind of waving quickly and he's trying to motion Maria on over. And so Maria tries to kind of do that thing where she's like talking without moving her mouth all that much. Um, so she kind of tries to give, um, is it Dinah or Dina? Dina. Dina. Okay. So Maria will give Rena and Dina a, uh, just kind of quick FYI on who this guy is. And then kind of will walk over to him and just say, Dr. Drebin, I was not expecting to, uh, see you here oh well i i'm I'm just heartbroken i heard about your friend and i just how exactly did you uh hear about our friend well i'm a pretty well connected man and uh and i i have uh i have friends uh all all across the 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 valley and uh and i have uh, i've done some work uh you know here or there in in the white hall white hall center and i i was just so heartbreaking heartbroken to hear uh that uh you know, and, and as soon as he like mentions Whitehall, she's going to kind of be like, you know, uh, don't want you to read into this, but I do think this is not a conversation that we should have here. So I. Oh, no, no. I think, think we... this is a this is a wonderful place to have. It, in fact, all these look at all these people around here having fun, just not a care in the world. Just playing a little, yep. Yep. little pinball. Let's, uh, right. So uh, let's go back in the other room. Oh no no! It's nice out here, I think. You know, you got the ambiance and everything, colors everywhere. You know, look at that over there. That's a, that, I don't even, and they got all sorts of different pinballs up here. They got, look at that. That looks like what is that? Is that a, well, wow! I think that's a Marvel theme. Superheroes and such looks great over there. And I'll, I think that one over there is some sort of NASCAR thingy over there. I'm not one for I, I, race car I, driving you, or anything, but are you? Uh setting up for an inventory of this place or is there a point you're uh, aiming to? I just wanted to come here and offer my my sincere condolences for the loss of your friend. It's a, it's a shame. Did you no. did you know Elaine well? No, I, then... I can't I can't say I, I knew her too well, but uh, we have a moment or two, I think, in the past. Are, are I, you two I would flirting be very or do you not like each other? I can't tell. <laughs> Uh, and Dina will reach her hand out for a handshake. I'm Dina. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, pleasure to meet you too. My name is uh, my name is Drebin, Doctor Wendell Drebin. Yeah, Thank we you. uh, Maria and I, we go uh, we go back a ways. Where's that? Uh, where's your where's your your strange strange little friend? You know, one with the tattoos I, and everything. It appears that you uh, know all. So, you know, I would imagine you would uh, be able to tell me that information. Oh, we we, room. we saw them all here come in. That's for sure. We know you're all here. Even the, even the what's his name? The uh, the martial artist. I, I I'm sorry, I forgot his name. Oh well. What, what you mean by we? Who else is here? Oh, I never go anywhere alone. Oh, is it like social anxiety or something? Well, it's the funniest thing. Um, uh, funniest thing. I'm just not much of a. A driver myself, and uh, I, I tend to tend to imbibe, so I, I, I you know, better. I, I have my own personal driver, is what I'm saying. Oh, that makes sense. That's very good of you. And a security company at his uh, beck and call, as it were. Well, that's not quite how the relationship works, but that's close enough. 
So uh, is this a visit just to uh, kind of a you know that I know that you know kind of a goal here? Oh well, well I I, I was I was hoping it, it would be a little bit more uh, more friendly. As I said, I'm here. Yeah, you know, it's a very expensive bottle of wine I sent there, uh, but uh, I just uh, we're I just here for say... morning. If you were expecting a smile and a friendly visit, it appears that you have mistimed. Oh no, no! I just, I just figure, you know, peace offering and everything. You know, you, uh, you all, uh, you all very interested. You can keep coming up. The last few weeks or so, just keep popping up in my life here and there, in my business and such. And I just realized, you know what? There's just maybe we're going about this the wrong way. I don't see any reason that uh, we can't be friends after all. Now, I would think with one of your own friends having sadly passed away, you might be in need of some more. Is this about the chupacabra? Chupacabra? Yeah. <laughs> well, that is just... That is just adorable. You are... <laughs> that is... Uh, I, I will admit, <laughs> I'm not really a part of the weird things. Uh, you're not part of the weird things. Well... Yeah, maybe uh, if you maybe. don't want to be part of this conversation, that's uh, I, I I completely understand that. Of course, I definitely don't want to be bartender. <laughs> so oh, so it appears yes. that you are also aware of the goings on uh, out west. Oh, I, like I said, I have uh, I, I have connections throughout the most of the valley here. We have a. Uh, a lot of very very sturdy foundation and uh, a lot of a lot of changes that are happening here. A lot of uh, improvements, you might say, to the infrastructure of uh, various organizations and things. Listen, m- maybe friends wasn't the right word. Maybe, maybe that's uh, maybe that was offensive, and I apologize. Maybe a uh, you know business associates, something like that. You know, I won't go as far as to say uh, to say that perhaps you have some money to throw around. Oh no, there's no promise of money here. No, 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 not no, nothing like that. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't insult you with that. Nor would I insult my uh, uh, my accounting folk. They would, uh, they would not be able to approve such an expenditure. Uh, the thing is, though, is that the people I represent, uh, they are not in the habit of um, what's the phrase here, wasting talent, and. Uh, you all have uh, demonstrated a, a, a peculiar, uh, peculiar amount of talent uh, and uh, irritating, irritating. Uh, naturally, you haven't actually done anything at all to, to permanently affect any of our of our interests. But uh, I, I, I think that there there might be a way to uh, maybe redistribute some of your energy so that. Uh, Again, the people that I represent don't have to, well, just squash that energy clean on out. I know that sounds like a threat, because it is. Who do you represent? Well, you see, part of that representation is that I am not allowed to divulge such a thing. Okay. So, and she, like, looks at Maria. And Maria is, like, your kind of kind of thing I feel like it cost me nothing to hear out this proposal and she's just kind of arms crossed there you go look at that that's here from the other room Maria Maria (laughs) is everything okay in there (laughs) is that is that that crazy boy I heard oh that that rust fella why I was trying to uh, relocate this conversation to the adjacent room so that we could all be... Uh... Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. There's plenty of noise in here, and he'll just call out, Hey, uh, is, uh... his name, does he go by Rust? Is it, is it Rust? That's why I have in my, in my, my report. Is that correct? It, that works. All right. Hey, uh, Mr. Rust, come on out here. Come on out. Yodi and... starts to walk around the corner. His eyes lock on Dr. Treppen. Big smiling and, face. And then he just goes into a full sprint right at the guy, <laughs> pushing with all of his might. <laughs> you so take Mar- you take Maria's three gonna... steps. Hang on. <laughs> okay. You yeah, take yeah. three steps, and all of a sudden you hear the echoing of 
all sorts of bar stools and chairs suddenly screeching and falling to the ground as almost every single person within this lobby, within this bartender, stands up and they have they have pulled out either guns or some other kind of weapon and are like there's about a dozen of them. They're all pointing weapons now at Maria, at Rust, and the bartender just slowly sinks below the bar at that point. And some of the servers just like scream. You hear the sounds of stuff dropping and they just start running. Now, the light will not now. tolerate the dark. Rust, we're. He's we're a just demon listening. spawn. And <laughs> demon sometimes spawn. listening. It's delightful coming from what I heard about you. Uh, you have quite an interesting experience with demons yourself. Be strange. If I was Demon Spawn, it's almost like we're related then, isn't it? I'm going to kill you one of these days. Well, maybe. That might be so. I I don't think you will, and I certainly hope you change your mind on that, but uh, I don't think today is going to be that day. Maybe not, but there'll come a day. Yeah, well, there, always, there always does. Always does. And he kind of like leans up, kind of reaches back behind the bar now because there's no one occupying. It's just kind of like this empty place. Like all of the people that were in here playing pinball and stuff, you can see they're all just looking at you. And now that you're out here, those of you who like, you can kind of, you're starting to get a look. You can see some of them have what look like little listening devices in their ears. You can see some of them are kind of, they got bulges on their hips here and there. Like these are definitely, especially since Rust came in the back, didn't have a chance to actually look at some of these. And they all seem to have just been sort of plants at this point. And so he just reaches behind. He's like, oh, kind of pulls up a bottle. Oh, good. How do people drink that? He kind of puts it back down. Like, uh, I guess Doc, I think do. you got a good idea there. Uh, first of all, I'm not really with them. I just kind of just met them. And I'll oh, kind of miss- jump and sit on the bar and kind of yeah. spin around as long as it's not like an aggressive move. Uh, who oh. else needs a drink? We need drinks. We need drinks. I, I would like something, please. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll I'll just find uh, some vodka or something and start pouring mm-hmm. like four or five shots. I'll hand Ms. two Cooper. of them to Dina and I'll save the rest for myself. Miss Cooper, you, uh, I'll tell you, uh, you have an interesting file. Uh, it was not the easiest thing to, uh, to procure from your agency, but uh, there are ways. They are not as airtight as they would like to think. Yeah, great, great. I like I said, I'm not really with them. It's a gig thing, you know. They of course. were just sure. Yeah. Well, that's fine. This, you know, that, that's all right. I understand that. Uh, uh, however, your gig, uh, as you refer to it, is uh, that's not going to go well with uh, my plans and our plans here within the county. So I'm going to go ahead and just ask you to go ahead, just cancel that and get in your little yeah, app there. Yeah, yeah. Say it's I'll... completed, whatever it might be. Yeah, I throw back a shot. Uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and ask you to just fuck off. <laughs> you don't disappoint, Miss Cooper. You don't disappoint. Well, anyhow, uh, I was hoping this was going to be a civilized conversation, but uh, I suppose it I suppose it's come to this. I just... Uh, what was the point of your conversation, exactly? Which well, I was just request? figuring. I, I've been uh, tasked with uh, handling your lot here uh, as you've uh, you kind of irritated us here and there and again like i said nothing's been complete and nearly ruined but uh you've, your names or your your likenesses have coming up come up enough to sort of uh, a thorn in the side might be a, a a fair statement of it maybe maybe that's a that's even a little too uh too grandiose but as i was saying my employers uh, people i represent they uh do not like to waste talent and you all have um like i said talent of some kind uh something that's particularly difficult to uh to get and, and limited as well and i was thinking that maybe uh, as opposed to just uh having all of my my friends here just shoot you down in a wonderful butch cassidy kind of blaze of glory here that instead uh we come to an arrangement and we say hey you're angry you're upset got this romantic notion in your head that there's some sort of war between darkness and light and everything well well that's fine and good that's fine and good but maybe you redirect some of that energy and that some some of that hatred elsewhere so that you're not really kind of clogging up anything i'm dealing with and well like i said 
We don't have to kill you. I'll even give you a task if you want. I mean, I got leads on leads. We ain't the only ones that are working, working the county, working the state even. Oh, there's there's all sorts of groups out here that are doing a little of this and a little of that. You know, probably the heat makes people crazy. You know. If there's information that you know that you want to share with us, I don't know that I would uh, plug my ears before you start talking. Werewolves. Let's talk about werewolves. How about that? I don't really like them very much. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure Mr. Rust over here probably has something about demon spawn. Maybe someone somewhere had sex with a demon dog. I don't know. Whatever it is, and werewolves were born. Anyhow, that's think- not how werewolves are created, and you know it, Leech. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, that's true, that's true. Now, I have it on good authority uh, that there is a, a werewolf pack that's way out west, or excuse me, way out east, out in Apache Junction over by them at Superstition Mountains area. They're just feeding on hikers, just keep getting lost here and there. And, you know, some some of the low-rung meth heads out there and stuff, so maybe that's a good thing. I, I don't quite know. But I tell you what, you all head on out there, get yourself some doggies and... You're out of my hair. We can proceed without a problem, and you all get to breathe. How's that sound? Russ spits on the ground at his feet. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. <sighs> I hate that I agree with him. <laughs> Everybody Maria will look to Rena and say seems that you are usually looking for the uh, highest bidder. There might be some pay associated with this. What might your thoughts be? I don't like someone coming in here and telling me what to do. I took a gig. I'm going to do the gig. And this guy can fuck off. I think you guys are skipping over the fact that he said werewolves. That's all right. We'll deal with them after we kill the leech. You're just so adorable, this lady over here. I just, I gotta tell you, just, it's just delightful. It's delightful just to see ignorance turn to experience just like that. It's just a wonderful, wonderful thing to observe. Uh, everyone go ahead and roll at this point uh, a composure uh, plus resolve. Uh, and this is going to be, hang on, uh, a difficulty of... Sorry, let me check my danger level. Ooh. It's going to be a difficulty of six. So is oh, this gosh. a supernatural effect that's coming this down is. on us? This is okay. a supernatural effect. So I'm immune to that. Okay. Wait, is this something I roll for, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's okay. it's composure plus resolve. Does Dina it's have a... some special thing that she might not have to roll for this? Sadly, my thwart the unnatural is just for me. If I get another perk, if, if I live through the night, I was going to make it expandable like my repel, the uh, the unnatural. But at the moment, it just protects me. You know what? I, I think I took that, too. I think I took that, too. So uh, it's weird. Yeah, I don't have to roll here. You know, everyone but, took that. <laughs> but I do have to spend one willpower to uh, to resist. So okay. I did that. I think. Okay. All right. And I, sorry, I'm trying to remember. One point of willpower to reroll up to three. Okay, so three, I'm going to yeah. do that. Uh, I still fail. I got four out of six. Okay. Yeah, I can't do better than five. All right. Uh, Rena, Dina, Maria. I mean, man, he's making a lot of sense. He's just making a whole heck of a lot of sense. And I'll tell you, that Rust fella is being very rude. Just very rude. Uh, that's it. That's all. That's all you need for now. There's nothing else but beyond. He's just oozing personality, and he's just. He seems like such a nice fella, and he says such a nice thing. And, and Rust is just being just woefully rude, spitting like that in front of him, and all sorts of things. If Was I'm gonna there? die, if I'm gonna die here tonight, I'm gonna die on my feet. So stay out of my mind, Leech. Oh, that's fine. I don't think you want to go doing anything crazy, you know. Did I, did I, I have to tell you something there, Ms. Mal. I, I kind of, I lied. I fibbed. (laughs) About? Well, about Elaine. There, see, I know a lot about Elaine. I kind of know a lot about all y'all. Hang on one sec. 
he kind of snaps a finger and you see like someone kind of comes up kind of starts handing him some folders and he starts just kind of dropping them down here and there and they kind of open up and you see photos just start to spill out you know alvin's photos spill out and there's pictures of his daughter there's pictures of his of his apartment there's the pictures of his wife and you see alvin's like getting all upset from that and maria you see them kind of spill out you see like your you know your kind of your your sort of like your plumbing headquarters and stuff like that where you you know where you live a lot, a lot of the, a lot of this kind of stuff do they and have a picture of annie my cat they do have we'll say yes they have a picture of annie your cat <laughs> mm. and then uh like you can see pictures of like elaine's place like Di- dina you might even be in one of the pictures like just randomly not necessarily because they have anything on you specifically and uh and so he just and he kind of turns now now mr rust before you go sending me off into whatever hell spawn thing that you want to send me off to, you have very interesting look at uh, the way this works, but that's fine. That's fine. I, I know who your, uh, your your educator has been. And he kind of drops his folder, kind of flips it open. You see pictures now of, like, of Sister LeBlanc. You see pictures of her church. You see pictures of the Prescott Church where you dropped off your Brock. friend Brock and Shelby. Now, see, the thing is, we are... Uh, relatively thorough organization and once we actually have resources into our hold we make sure that we don't lose track of them and so uh, we've known where elaine's been this whole time we've known where where brock and shelby now i I will give you a great deal of credit mr rust now (laughs) you have some interesting friends and that is not going to be the easiest group of people to uh to negotiate with to get our property back uh but for now don't worry they're safe everything's fine for for now for now but just 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 remember that when you think about your 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 next uh, your next words let's say now the rest of you again everything he's saying is just really logical really friendly he seems like just a just like a nice guy who's just making a lot of sense so like maria's yeah. arms had been like crossed and you know she was kind of had that you know kind of like fighting demeanor but you've seen her kind of relax a little bit and just kind of nodding things that he's saying if you know sister leblanc you know her organization then you know that they're fighting the war and they don't care if they burn in the war because our only peace is in death and that peace is bought by the blood of things like you so you're not going to terrify me with pictures if brock and shelby fall in this war casualties due to your evil and avarice then i'll mourn their loss but i'll yeah. never stop fighting well at just some point when i think will. his monologue's over he just keeps going and i take another shot <laughs> <laughs> he just chuckles he chuckles he doesn't seem like even remotely phased by anything he's like yeah yeah they're fighting a war uh certainly nothing that um, it's it's the 21st century they're fighting a war like it was the 14th century they're you know what? I'm not here to debate politics with y'all. I just wanted to offer my condolences uh, and just uh, let y'all know that there are other options for how this can go. Um, I'll assume if you all uh, take me up on that uh, that task, and if I if I get to hear from my uh, my East Valley uh, contacts that uh, that that werewolf problem's been taken care of, I'll assume you all have just gone ahead and accepted the fact that we can be friends here. Well. Like I said, friendly. And if not, if y'all start showing up at some of my places again, some places of the folks I represent have invested a lot of money in, well, well, things probably go a little different next time I see you. What are those places? Should I make a list? And Dina's like fishing in her pocket. Oh, her leg. God. Doc, oh, what man. intel do you got on the werewolves? Well, very simple. Super string, superstition Springs Mountains, Apache Junction, head east for a while, nature trails, they're plaguing all left and right, and there is a, a fairly healthy methamphetamine trade out there, and they have been uh, <clears throat> not too difficult to find. Talk to a couple of the local sheriff's departments such out there. I'm sure you can find find your own own way. I don't want to make it too easy on you. That's like a like a fetch task or something like that, you know? I'm just giving you the lead. I want you to feel like you've earned the hunt, you know? So you want us to hunt the dogs 
for their drug trade while you're cooking up a drug that cha- makes people insane. And then you send out homeless people to be hunted by them. And you're going to protect that. Think that I'm going to turn a blind eye. He's a doctor. He's supposed to make drugs. Thank you. Thank you. That's, but, that's very true. I am. I am. That's far yeah, actually. He's in your head. God damn it. Shake it off. What are you talking about? He's been very reasonable. Dinah, Thank you. don't engage. Just it, it, it keeps him going. You, you just got to ignore what he says. Dr. Drebin, you and I both know what's going on here. You're too much of a coward to face him with a clean mind. Yeah. You see, I threw around those words like coward. Everyone's got their talents, you know? Everyone has their skills. I'm not going to face you in whatever battleground you feel comfortable doing with i'm going to exercise my skills my resources uh and if this is really a war well then you know i think it's the person with most amount of soldiers and the most amount of firepower is probably gonna win and uh one two three well it looks like there's four of you and there's oh 13 of me and oh oh look at that we all got guns too uh i think i'm win this one but hey you may you may win i'm not a battle. student of history all you'll be doing is freeing our souls into the light. But there'll be others to take up the fight. Well, I tell you, I don't... just amazing. He's a specimen. Just would love to peel back that brain of yours and see what goes and makes it tick. Whatever was in there mutual. with you, messed around with you, something fierce, they crossed some wires, and man. Whew. I lived yeah. through 10 years of a demonic hell. There's nothing you can threaten me with that's even half as bad. I'll tell you one Boomer, of these days. Boomer, can you take care of him or something? Like, I, I don't know how he works. Come on. I am in charge of no one. Russ can think his thoughts, and it doesn't appear that he is putting us in danger with this uh, repartee. So, so is this like a paid job that they're getting? <laughs> No, no, no. That's not how this works. That would be insulting to them. I mean, not to Miss Cooper, of course. She does this for profit. The rest of them are, what was it you said, soldiers in the war against the darkness or something? That is absolutely correct. There you go. All right. I don't, <laughs> if there's I don't, anything about this country, we don't pay soldiers enough anyway, so I'm not going to start now. I don't uh, feel like we are taken on a job that was not our job to take on it does appear that some uh, compensation would uh go along Maria, we're issues. not taking money from the enemy some, we're uh, not going to be quizzlings snap out of it he's in your head i yeah. agree in agreement uh there doctor with some uh points that you're making but i do feel that there's some uh compensation for spending time in a way that we were not uh choosing to spend our time yeah <laughs> Oh, that's a, I appreciate a good grift. I really do. I really do. What's that phrase, though? Uh, I don't think you're in a particularly good bargaining situation right here, but I appreciate it. Now, here's what I'm going to do, though. And he kind of stands up, reaches into, he's got this, he's got a jacket on, but no tie, and he kind of reaches in, kind of pulls out while it starts folding out some, some bills. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and just cover the expenses for tonight. You know, y'all drink play do whatever you got to do it's fine i even put a little extra there you know in case y'all want to go somewhere better than here whenever this is what are we 15 but hey no it's your friend i shouldn't i shouldn't say shouldn't speak ill with the dead well we have an assumption of uh anonymity in a place like this but apparently uh we can't uh <laughs> take a walk outside of our front door without you uh knowing where we've gone well y'all came poking around and some of our property didn't you Came into my, came into my uh, a couple of my labs. In fact, my my place of business, and yeah, that's right. I snapped you all the started. spine of two of your guards and one of your doctors, freeing our friends. And I put down a couple of your ghouls as well. And I'm just getting started. Wait, yeah. you were part of that thing that took Elaine's eye. As he's responsible for it. He's the doctor in charge of all of that. <laughs> Now, hang on one second. That is not entirely accurate. Uh, I did not remove her eye. Uh, However, uh, a patient of mine uh, who suffered ill effects from the 
drug that we need additional testing on uh, was responsible. Now, I don't see how that's my fault. I tried to help her, of course, uh, but... Uh, no is, is that is that patient still alive? I know, I know oh, those they are, about Oh, they are HIPAA. locked up behind all, all manner of security at this point. Far more than we have before. Don't, don't, don't you worry, young lady. She, he, he ain't ever gonna. Not young lady, about the same age. He ain't ever gonna see the light of day. Don't worry. I took no. him to the brink of death, but they got to him before he expired. They brought him back. Yeah, yeah. You, you did a number on him. That's for sure. Yeah, he's a little sturdier, sturdier than you might think. But he was pretty close. That's true. That's true. Anyhow, uh, this has been fun. Here we go. Just just because you've been so entertaining, just drops kind of another hundred. There's like all sorts uh-huh. of hundred bills. Just like you could see the like the these other places where like the the condensation stuff from like different glasses is starting to like soak up on the bills. I guess uh, you all have an excellent night. And again, I'm very sorry for your friends. And I I certainly hope you all uh, think carefully about what you're. Your next operation's gonna be call call them operations. Is that what they are? Yeah, never mind. They're all right, battles boys. in the war. Battles in the that for your next battle in the war. I hope you all think carefully about your strategy. All right, boys, let's go. And you see, they all just kind of start folding together and like create this sort of like presidential unit. And like he's and like the Rust is trying service. to memorize their faces as, as they're going. He's not good sure. at it, but he's trying to. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, roll a wits. Um, hmm. Um, I don't know. Just maybe a, a wits insight, something like that. Okay. And higher the better. Difficulty or you just higher? Yeah, I would say just the higher you roll, the better. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> or a one. <laughs> He's too worked up. He's he's trying to get it. He's trying to lock their faces in, but he's just too worked up by what's happened. All right. Sorry, Stephen asked me a very funny question in Discord. He's like, is he an evil? Is he an evil Ted Lasso? Yes, he's an evil Ted Lasso. It's That's perfect. Right. I love it right. so much. <laughs> okay. So, do you want to do anything as he's leaving? Like, you all are welcome to do whatever you want. But you, there are there are several gunmen around him and him. So how long is sort of the effect of us thinking he makes a lot of sense through the scene basically. So and, and while he's still here, like it, it's not going to wear off until he leaves until he, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, you're not compelled to do any particular action. Like you can right. take whatever right. action you want, but like you, like I would just say that, you know, you're, you're kind of, you're kind of, he makes like good points. he's making good points and he seems very friendly and charismatic. Mm. Um, what time of day would we say this was? Um, good question. Probably evening. Yeah, probably like yeah, evening time. Okay. Door opens up. You see it's dark out. You start to leave on out. One question. Yeah, what's that, Mr. Rust? How is it that you can walk in the day and the night? What are you? <laughs> what am I? What am I? Well, let me just put it this way. Uh, the amount that you don't know could fill up all the libraries in this state. Have a good evening. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> I love that joke. I love that joke. And the door closed. You won't be laughing. <laughs> I'm uh, pouring more shots behind the bar. and Dina I'll pour... is taking them. <laughs> Save some for me, and I'll pour uh, Rust his uh, warm water that he wanted. Give me one right. of those vodkas. I think you should stick to the water. Give me a vodka. Uh, one shot can't. You know what? Let's. And he takes the shot, picks it up to a lane. To a lane. Dumps it on the money and lights it with his lighter. Okay. Uh, um, 
Maria Does Maria greedy. allow that? I know. Like, <laughs> I haven't necessarily had my greedy come into a uh, play very often. So I feel like Maria is going to quickly grab the other hundreds. So sure. They you don't could, all get. Some of them yeah. get caught up, but you take some yes. for sure. Yeah. For I can sure. spray it with the water from behind the bar, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like you and Reno would definitely be on the same page with this money. Um, Maria, you disappoint me. I, he, he, he makes good. He no, he doesn't. What? You'll, you'll, your mind will clear up in a minute, and you'll see. He reached into your minds and twisted them. He defiled you, just like I was defiled. Hmm. Uh, ooh, that's a weird subject. Let's not talk about that. Uh, werewolves. I, I'm. I guess we can do werewolves. We're getting about for it. five minutes. In about five minutes, your your brains start to write, and Maria, you you probably feel gross at this point, and like, and same with I mean, and then you know, Rena and, and Dina, kind of up to you how you feel, but I, knowing Mar- Maria, you encountered him once before, but like, yeah, so I feel like it's sort of going to be this yeah. like I, I rust. I mean, sometimes you just gotta see the bigger picture, and you know, it just uh uh. I'm not sure what. Did I just say that the doc makes a good point? He spit his evil into your thoughts and twisted you, just like he tried to do at the clinic. And Maria has like the shot glass in her hand, and she's gonna. Um, quick question before I did before I do this: Did everyone clear out? Like, was no one actually there? There is quite literally nobody else in here but you and the servers. Okay. Yeah, and you so can then... see they're all kind of very confused about what just happened. But you can tell that there is a... you Like I would say, especially Rust, you would probably recognize that there's something compuls... You know, there's some sort of compulsion effect. You can see that they're kind of snapping out of it too. Like they're... Like they've been mm-hmm. kind of a little bit out of it as well. So yeah, Maria's I mean, a gonna... gig is a gig is a gig is a gig is a gig. Wait have this shot glass she's just going to take the shot and just kind of just look at the glass and just kind of close her eyes for the second and she's just going to take the shot glass and she's just going to like hurl it at the nearest wall i what are you doing where that and son of a bitch rust you have got to teach us whatever it is that you do to get that shit out of your head this all I know wires are all crossed that they don't work right. Is that a demon yeah. was scooped out of my soul and it was filled with the light and now I can call hey, upon it. Did y'all I mean, forget that we're in public? Shut up. And Dina's gonna look <laughs> at the servers and be like, I'm so sorry. And she's gonna snatch two hundreds from Maria, but put them on the counter. Give me, give me one we of those. owe stuff for the funeral. We have to go. You better put another hundred down, and I start pouring more drinks. <laughs> Which is out dead. Uh, thank you. Uh, sorry for your loss. Oh, yeah. Did and, I get and... a concussion? <laughs> she starts feeling her head. Maria's gonna storm into the private room. Yeah, because like there was like a picture of Elaine. Sure. That was up in there, and she's just gonna like just storm into the room, and she's gonna pick up the picture and she's just going to look at it and she's just going to say you you deserve better than this Rust is muttering to himself they never listen to me they never believe never sleep in the same place twice never be in the same lake location never keep the same phone I showed him I knew what I was talking about Rust they had pictures of your people too they had pictures of the church. They had the pictures of of the soldiers of Leopold. They had pictures of their enemies who are already soldiers in the war. Those are my only people. I have no other connections. Uh, Rust, as you're saying that, and like you're still in front of the bar here, kind of looking, you know, you kind of sweep around, you look, you look down at the 
the folders, the papers, you kind of look up at Rena. Rena's sitting, st- still sitting on top of the bar, and you kind of look past her for a second as there's this mirror behind her, and there's the shelves of all, you know, of all of the various uh, booze and whatnot. And you see, like, just for a second, out of the corner of your eye, like, you can tell, like, your reflection just doesn't quite move quite right. When you look up, you can see it's staring at you, but not not kind of at the same time you are, and, I, and you can see your hand just kind of slowly raises up and just kind of waves at you. It's a little moment. Go ahead and roll a uh, resolve plus um, composure. This is going to get ugly. <laughs> Five successes. Oh yeah, you, you, whatever is happening, you kind of, you know, your head shakes ever for a second, and then you look back up, and everything's fine. He points at the mirror. You can't have me again. Rina, you. Look- I'm too strong for you now. Rina, you look over your shoulder. The mirror behind the booze. It's just you and Rust, and he's pointing at himself, <laughs> saying this. I. I don't even want to know who you're talking to. I'm talking to the agony that used to live I in my I said I don't want to know. I just... It's all right, Rena. Let's go hunt a vampire. Well, I mean, yeah. Unless we want to do the werewolves. I'm not ever going to do anything that man directs me to do. Or whatever the hell he is. I'll get to those werewolves, but first we're going to deal with a problem that we've left behind us. Or at least I am. Okay, before you go shooting again, let's think about this. The vampire knows that we're here, that we're on to it. Well, we're not going tonight. We're going to wait till daylight, of course. I get that. I'm... I thought you knew what you were doing. Can we can we go somewhere else? It, it's empty. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I mean, I know a, I know a way. sewer cistern that's fairly large and off the grid. Oh God! The more you talk, the worse it gets. All right. So we want to say the four of you go somewhere else. Just find some anywhere you want. It's fine. Not a sewer. Okay. So we'll say the. A, a few hours, an hour or so passes. You find some other place to kind of hunger down somewhere safer. Uh, you'll say that Alvin feels a little nervous, and so because he sees his daughter in those photos, and so we'll say mm-hmm. Alvin will ca- he'll he'll promise to catch up later, but he wants to go make sure his kid's mother or his mother's wife are okay. No, it's through his mother, uh, but his his kid and his his wife are okay, and then he'll he'll catch up later. So it's the four of you, and you're in a. I don't know, some sort of sewer place. It's still that same night, um, but we're welcome. You guys are welcome to kind of break at this point into whatever time, you know, time passage you want. So, what's the plan, Dina? Can I borrow your phone for a minute? Uh, I need to call Sister LeBlanc. As it's long important. As you promise not to break it, because uh, Elaine did warn me. That's. That's your. It's your phone. I won't break it. Okay. And she hands it over. So he quickly makes a call to Sister LeBlanc to sure. basically give her a sit rep on what just happened to them, so that she's aware that okay. one, she's been under surveillance. Both churches have, and that this individual is aware of her connection to the Society of Leopold. Okay. Um, we don't have to play out the whole scene. We'll say though, she is knowledgeable enough to know kind of what to do so she'll like we'll we'll communicate it to you know to to father the father up in in prescott we'll move we'll find a better safe house etc so she'll she'll try to calm you down as best she can uh, because she knows how upset you might get uh but um she'll contact you when she has a new location for them for Uh, for for brock and shelby also sister we're going to be hunting a, a a vampire tomorrow um, do we, do you have any special equipment that may help us that we could pick up? And this is not my phone. So I'm going to be giving it back to Dina cause she won't let me break <laughs> it, which is the smart thing to do. 
but I, I I'll have to pick up a new burner and I'll contact you with that number. Let's see. Uh, I mean, like she's got plenty of steaks. If you want any steaks, uh, I'm trying to see. How about if she has holy any. water? Give you holy water? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm trying to see if she would have anything. Uh, steaks, holy water, that kind of stuff. She can give you the the usual, you know, kind of okay. basics. Yeah, that's not a problem. All right. And then he reluctantly hands the phone back to Dinah. You should you should really break that. It they can uh, definitely track your phone, but uh, I'll I won't I won't break it. I promised. I won't break my promise. Yeah, and she quickly pockets it. Um, he cringes. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We're okay. This is okay. So. What kind of shit did you guys get into? I just what I said. We found a compound, a retirement home where all the old people have been fed drugs that turn them into feral, strong humans. They're herded by ghouls to feed on human flesh and they're overseen by a vampire and the same security force that works for that bastard, Dr. Drebin. We have to go in there. We have to kill everything. We have to burn it to the ground. That's the job. That's the mission. Yeah, we 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 got to this from the old job with the uh, creature that was stealing the eyes, and that's how Elaine lost her eye. And so we did infiltrate a uh, secure area of the uh, good doctors. after talking to him at his office and some and she'll kind of look at rust and uh, some threatening occurred. He deserved it. We should invest in suicide vests. We could have taken him out right there in the bar. We need to take things. It's just a with, thought. That, that is a thought. I'm always appreciative that you share the thoughts that you have. And sometimes those thoughts are, uh, what we should do and uh, other times not so much. I, I am uh, not sure that it would be in our best interest to go tomorrow. Uh, well, Maria, I, whatever you think, you, I, I trust you, Maria. I don't still don't like her, but I, I trust you. What kind of intel do you guys have on, on this stuff? Like you said vampires. What do you know about vampires? Is it true that they can't walk in the light? That's my understanding, based on what Sister LeBlanc has taught me. They uh, are nocturnal. They're incredibly strong. They can invade your mind, control your thoughts. They drink your blood. They're as strong as 10 men. They can hop from the top of uh, mobile home to mobile home like the one that was chasing us can do. They're basically killing machines, apex predators, spit onto the planet by Satan himself to feed on the righteous. Okay. And yeah, they make I've, ghouls that can can go out during the daylight to protect them. You think he's done, and then he just he's got <laughs> one more. You think, Dina? I barely know enough about this. We were in two different places, and with Elaine passing, I haven't haven't even had a chance. I don't know what Elaine's told you. I have a drone, the ability to do some surveillance. They went out one night. I I agree with the point you're making. I don't think we have nearly enough information to do uh, another assault on this. Elaine was location. hinting at some weird stuff, but honestly, I thought she was just pulling my leg. Uh, I still feel like maybe you guys are in on it and also pulling my leg. But I'll, I mean, I've seen stuff so uh, something something's draining the blood of animals at my stable. And it's near enough to that place that you guys are talking about with all them old folk. And it is weird. They look so young. Exactly. They've been twisted by whatever drug this is that they've been fed. And then they're feeding on human flesh. Perhaps they're trying to make Wendigos. No, no, that wouldn't make any sense. I think they're related to... No, I... The sister taught me a lot of things and it just all 
gets jumbled in my head sometimes. But maybe we'll take some time. I, if I'm assisting in this, I need to be caught up a little bit. I think. Dina, I I would hate to impose upon you, but if you if this is your stable, we could uh, use that stable as a bit of a, and she'll kind of look over to rest a base of operations for this next. Exactly. A forward observation post. I think that's what it's called from where we can strike out against the enemy. And I like horses. I've never actually met a horse, but I saw a horse in a movie once when I, I was, they let me watch movies when I was feeling a little better. And there was, I've, I like horses. You know, we have a horse therapy sessions that maybe I could sign you up for. As long as it doesn't interfere with vampire killing, I think that would be very nice. Thank you. Of course. He definitely needs therapy. All right. So I don't like some old white guy coming in and telling us what to do either. But we got to remember they know we're coming. The vampire knows we're coming. This security guy, you said you've met him before. He's got pictures of all you guys. He even had a picture of Dina in there for some reason. It, there, it, It's not going to be you get to just walk up to the vampire and stake it in the middle of the day. And then there will be repercussions. Why don't we try to be smart about this? Maybe we take out some werewolves. He thinks we're not going for the vampire. We mop up after when they let their guard down or we sabotage the gas line underneath the old folks trailer park and we basically make an enveloped air fuel bomb and then as they come running screeching out into the day burning we put them down one at a time then we hunt the vampire into its lair and stake it yeah let's murder a bunch of senior citizens that sounds great they're the enemies of the light. They feed on human flesh. They've already crossed over. So I mean, they've I, ruined the economy, but still. I, I The other concern that I have is when someone is as clearly your enemy as uh, this doctor is of ours, and they invite you to put yourself into a place at a... Uh, time and place of their choosing that seems to me like what could be referred to as a trap. I don't. It could be a trap. It seemed to me more like he just wanted to use us to take care of a problem of his. It honestly to me sounded like he was hoping we'd go out there and then die to some werewolves and he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty. I, uh, I think making your acquaintance, Dina, I think focusing on surveillance is probably our best bet at this point. Uh, he is attempting to deter us for a reason. And while I generally don't think all that highly of what I do, there's a part of me that also wonders if when someone tells you, don't look here, look over there, the look in here is what you should absolutely be doing. That's right, Maria. I'm okay with surveillance. The sister told us that we've got to fight smart. They're stronger and faster than we are, so we have to fight smarter. So I trust you, Maria. If you, if you think we need to do that, we'll do that. I mean, I, I don't know much of what y'all did there uh, it sounds bad if you pissed off a vampire that you said that has the strength of 10 men but maybe getting the heat of this guy off you by making a show of going would be a good idea now i don't i don't i don't i don't really know myself the situation but uh i'm good with animals maybe that extends to to dog people I I have. How are you with coyotes? Uh, Sorry, I've, too soon. Uh, oh, that's a little that's fucked up. Justice. But <laughs> I, I, I just. I can't blame the creatures though, because they were probably hungry. If they're desperate enough to attack a human, uh, 
they I are just think if definitely we're gonna, desperate. If we're going to honor Elaine's memory, you know, we always say, leave the hunt to us. When one of ours has fallen, the rest of us continue the hunt. That's right. And I'm I never willing told me to that. take that man's money, but that does not mean that we should abandon the hunt that she died for. Elaine said, don't be stupid. Get shit done. Speaking and... of which, let's let's push this forward. What do we want to do? <laughs> We've been dancing around for a really long time. What, what do we want to do? What's next? Well, I, th- I think we have two votes for werewolves. And we have two for vampire. Split the party again? No. Son <laughs> <laughs> of a gun. I think well, surveillance. Rust will follow Maria's lead because he trusts her. And he thinks that she's much smarter than he is, which is true. Let, let's let's go out. Let's go to your stables and set up and, and conduct some surveillance of this retirement park and see what there is to find out. And then if it looks like there's just no way to get at this vampire right now, we'll fall back I and would, either deal with the hospital or deal deal with the werewolves. I would prefer to be on your property with you there, Dina. Take a look at those animals. Yeah. All right, let's let's move forward. So we'll say uh, you're you want to go during the day, so everyone will get a good night's sleep of some kind, and then light will eventually come. Day will begin. Make up some sort of time to to meet with Dina out west. Dina, you have some like you work at. I think it's like a private stables, right? Like we talked about it ahead of time. Like it was yeah. a private stables. Like you're a vet. You go out yeah. there. You care for mm-hmm. some of these 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 horses, etc. So. Walk. Uh, so, what is it we're we're looking to do? Like, what kind of extra surveillance? Because you've already done some surveillance. So, Alvin, Rust, and and Rena, you, you I think you you have a few things actually. I think you have you've you've got some information already. You have a few items here and there. So, like, what is it in addition to to what you've done that you're looking to do now? Maria would want to set her drone. Okay. About so trying to catch. Um, not traffic patterns in general. Uh, what am I trying to think of? But like when they might be getting delivery of like when the um, medical services come by, if there might be deliveries that come by, some more of that just kind of pattern surveillance. So kind of use of the drone. Okay. Roll your drone check for your edge, your edge roll. All right. So drone is... So if I want to do this autonomous, this is. Yeah, it's your, you're, you're doing, yeah, yeah, you're doing, you already have it built. So you already have it. So you're really just looking to control it. So I think it's wits tech. Drone jockey edge roll to control is wits and technology. All right. That's about the autonomous. All right. That is only four then. Okay, okay, okay. Roll dice, roll dice. That is a uh, not good roll. So I'm going to spend another willpower to get three of them re-rolled. See if I can get better. And I is it? It's six or higher, right? Yeah, for successes uh, on the die. Yeah, two successes. Okay. Uh, so I think isn't the isn't your difficulty of four? Sorry, a, it's been a minute since I did the drone. Um, all right, go ahead, go ahead and look it up, and we'll here. we'll do some other things. Uh, what else are people looking to do in terms of like surveillance or research or investigation, something like that? Rust would be trying to find where the uh, main gas and electrical uh, trunk lines. Uh, go into the property. Okay. Um, how would you want to do that? Are you just are you going to do like a physical surveillance? Or are you going to try to do like a look up yeah. plans type of thing? Like a no, no, no. Plan? He wouldn't even consider that. He's 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 walking through the town. He's he's changed up his look a little bit. 
put on some different clothes. And he's he's literally trying to follow. He's assuming that the gas lines are obviously subsurface. The electrical may be as well. But, I mean, there's going to be clear indications of, of, of where the trunk lines are. So he's going to try to search for him. He, you know, may not be his forte, but that's what he's trying to do. Yeah, let's do, uh, I mean, we can call it an awareness because you're looking, but I think we'll tie it to like intelligence, like the idea of knowing what you're yep. looking for. Sounds sounds yep. about right, I think. I'd forgotten that I've actually got my physical dice out for this. So that's uh, nice. four dice, four dice, two successes. Okay. Uh, you see that most of, uh, like there's, there's kind of like faded spray paint here and there along some of the like the the kind of that uh the long road remember there's two entrances there's the main and there's like Mm -hmm. kind of this auxiliary one and you can tell that most of like most of what looks like the electrical and the gas lines all that kind of stuff is is near the auxiliary entrance it's it's like none of it seems to kind of kind of come in through the the main western exit entrance of the Mm -hmm. uh of the of the compound but off kind of to the southish uh along that run near the the side exit seems to be where most of that stuff is now, when we were reconning the the um, facility, um, when we were dressed as maintenance people, and then and later while we were looking around, uh, did we see any generators inside the compound? Uh, like like, are you talking about like, like big, private? Yeah, gen? big like yeah, like you know, forty hmm. k, you know, backup generators or anything like that. I don't think no, I don't think you guys would have seen it because you were on top of the trailers and you went to the swimming pool area and then you went right inside. So I don't think you would have okay. passed anything like that. Okay. Not say if there aren't, just I don't think you would have seen it. Right. So that's what okay. Russ would have been doing. Perfect. So you're just sort of moving around a little bit here and there. Maybe you get a bike. Maybe somebody drives you around. Maybe you just walk, whatever it might be. You see definitely cars pass here and there. Uh, more than once, you you kind of duck out of, the, out of you know eyesight every now and then. You find a boulder to hide behind or some sort of mm. uh, like like desert landscaping. As you see one of those locker room control cars kind of move past, you know that they do sort of switch out some of their some of their folk from time to time. And you can see that they go in both exits. You see they go in the, the main. You also see just really basic stuff. You see like UPS trucks, FedEx trucks, that kind of stuff going in and out. Uh, none of them really seem to have two issues. They, they go through some kind of call sequence, and they kind of call into the leasing office, who then you know, probably looks through the, the camera, the security camera, and then buzz them in. Um, you see plenty of folks come on out, driving out, driving back in. No one really notices you, especially since you're saying you kind of changed your look a bit. No one really notices you uh, along the way or kind of gives you any sort of strange looks. You're just kind of wandering about uh, on the on the side of the road here and there. Uh, Dina or Rena? Well, that's fun. Uh, yeah. Either of you, Dina? <laughs> uh, I would like, either way, we're going up against something tough, either a vampire or a werewolf. So I would be talking to my contact on the app Gat Chat. Uh, mm-hmm. to procure us weapons okay do you have is there a does do they have a name or a handle uh okay up your arsenal <laughs> up your arsenal okay beautiful all yes. right so you're gonna do an arsenal you're gonna do an arsenal edge roll is that what you're looking to yes. do yes yes yeah, yeah. go for it uh difficulty four or higher yep uh intelligence craft i believe is what i was going for yeah, or no it would have been or be. manipulation streetwise let me let me go well if you're making a con if you're doing it through a contact there, yeah. then it's streetwise yeah it's manipulation streetwise oh gosh uh is that what you want to do uh what was the other one? Craft. well you have even less than craft i'm looking at your sheet yeah it's okay. not good uh i'm gonna spend a willpower though okay I almost passed uh, <laughs> three successes and a five. Okay. Uh, so you're, we'll say you're able to essentially get some very basic stuff, uh, the types of things that they were able, they would get from their own, um, their own safe houses. And none of the specialty gear that you're looking for. Mostly you're just kind of getting handguns here and there, some knives, some rope, really generic stuff that honestly you could have just gone to Bass Pro Shop and got yeah, that. So, yeah. uh, but Hey, it's it's better than nothing, and maybe that is what you end up would, having to do. Is that they don't they don't get back to you when you do go shopping in that person. Would my perk untraceable still count for any of this stuff? Uh sure. If you have that, I'll, I'll we'll say that the guns are untraceable. Uh, that's fine. We'll say yeah, that we we'll say okay. we'll say that it's not Bass Pro Shop. That's a joke. But like, 
We'll say like the guns. Yeah, were it was a Walmart. Serial numbers so I went to Walmart there. and I filed off some some yeah, serial numbers. This, yeah, no problem. That's okay. <laughs> Dina, what would you be doing? I don't know because Dina is really not so convinced about this whole vampire thing. So okay. maybe she'd be looking to see, like, she's out there working with her horses, but she's like looking at the community to see if there's more security that's been put up or anything. By by the stalls. Yeah, and then also like just around the compound. That's the neighborhood. Like if they put up more spotlights or something, or. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, you don't. You wouldn't have any real knowledge of the compound. Um, okay. Like, so, like the stables are. It's off site. Uh, so that's like a, kind of private stables. Um, but you do know that there are people from the compound who have like horses and. and at your stables like there are some very well-to-do people who live with this within this community so you know there's that um, maybe she tries to like feel out one of the yeah. people to see what sure. they say sure so we'll go ahead and but i am totally not started for that but <laughs> <laughs> okay uh so yeah let's do some kind of kind of uh role it could be uh, charisma or manipulation. I think one of the two would probably be fine. And then we could okay. do something like etiquette or persuasion. Whatever combo works best for you is fine. <laughs> Looks like I'm rolling a fat, flat three of charisma. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and I got two successes. I don't know what I needed. No, uh, keep in mind, because just because I feel like we we're kind of forgetting this sometimes with do we have desperation dice if we're doing something that falls in your That's true. Field? Yeah, you all are at three. Uh, the, the, you're at three despair. Uh, so if you're doing something that falls in your creed, uh, you can get mm-hmm. a despair dice to roll. And um, you are inquisitive, right? I so am like, inquisitive. I, this, I think it's fair to say this could, this could, if you want to do it. Bad things could happen. Just mm-hmm. so you know. Do you roll. Let's do it for fun. One of those. Okay, so roll three more. I got gonna, two more successes, so four. Any ones? No ones. I did get okay. a two. I was very nervous. <laughs> All right, no, you're good. Okay. So we'll say you meet, um, hmm. we'll say you have a, a client that work that has a, a horse there, a very a beautiful Palomino, gorgeous. I don't know. That's just a Saturday Night Live joke. Uh, but they have a, uh, a woman by the name of Yvette, Yvette Mora. She, she comes and she rides very frequently. She quite loves her her horse uh widowed uh, her husband has been has been gone for some time uh she has no children that you know of at least she doesn't speak of it she doesn't even have any family and she loves her horses um one of the things you would have noticed dina is that over the past few months um she has been coming by less and less it just still shows up but it used to be almost daily she would be by now it's kind of down to maybe like once every week and a half or so. Mm-hmm. And not only that, but when she shows up, she looks good. Like she looks like she's like she's had work done, but not like in an obvious fashion. Like her mm-hmm. wrinkles are kind of smoothing out. You can tell her hair has kind of got this this almost a color to it. You're not sure if she's dyeing her hair. Whoever's doing it is doing a fabulous job. And whereas in the past you might have had to help her and I kind of give her a boost or somebody else would have to give her a boost to get up on the horse. Like she's able to do this all by herself now. Like she used to have a lot of arthritis problems, things like that, but it doesn't seem to be having that issue anymore. So we'll say that uh, sometime in the next day or two, when you guys are doing your, your surveillance happens to be one of those days that the vet shows up, you're there checking in on some of your clients, some of the horses. Mm-hmm. So what is it you're looking to gain from her? She's been taking fish oil. That's right, Steve. Um, kind of Yoga. whatever she'd tell me about the community. Okay. Um, with four Dina successes. Would, okay. Would probably start out like, girl, you are looking just gorgeous. What's your, what's your secret? Oh my God. Stop it. Stop it. You're so, you're sweet. You're so sweet. Well, I'll tell you, it's really simple. Uh, I get a lot of sleep. I've been taking a lot of fish oil. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just eat healthy is what it is. And, you know, my Thomas, he's been gone. He's been dead for, year, you know, what is it, two years now? But uh, uh-huh. I think I finally, you know, realized that he would want me to be happy and healthy and, you know, feel best about myself. So 
really, you know, it's just, it's just clean living. And then I've got just a little, little extra supplements I take here and there. We got this, uh, we got this doctor who comes by the clinic, gives okay. us all, oh God, they, oh, hmm, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's all part, it's all expense, you know, it's, uh, it's privatized healthcare, whatever. But I'll tell you, it's, they, you just, you, all you gotta do is, I take it with my fish oil every morning with my, with my vitamins and whatnot, and I just pop it in a tablet a day, and it's just like, it's like a burst of adrenaline. It's better than B12. Ugh, it's wonderful. Wow. I'm gonna have to try and get some of that. Oh, and you're Dina much will, too like, young. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Compared, your, com- look at your skin compared to mine. I could be I'm your grandmother. I'm so sun worn. Oh, come on. You're just, you're outside. You're with the animals. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I wish I could get out here more, but I've just been very busy. So many community projects and such, like uh, new neighbors, new people coming in, turnover. Oh. Yeah, just been very, very busy. So busy. But hey, busy's good. Better than being dead, right? You know? <laughs> that's that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So you know how it is. And I'll tell you, it's just been, oh, my God. Let me tell you. We had a break-in the other night. Really? Someone, they broke in. Who breaks into an old folks community? I Did mean, they seriously. I'm not sure. You know, that's the strange thing. No, I, I don't think they did. No one caught them. I don't know what it is. Vandals, mm-hmm. really. It would, we have a bunch of things broken here and there, you know. Ugh. They did a they did a number to the swimming pool. Oh, my goodness. They broke so many chairs. The locker room. Oh, God. It's just in, oh, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. What a weird terrible. location to break into. I know. I thought it was very strange, too. Very yeah. strange indeed, Dina. But you Any, know. Anything else happening? Have you what met you anyone? Me? Oh no. You know, Thomas, he's the love of my life, and I don't need another person. I'm fine. I'm fine with I have my friends, I have my you know, my groups, you know, got my book club, I got my walking group, you know. Mm-hmm. We even started jogging a little bit. Seriously, we started jogging. Can wow. you believe it? Yeah. My so, cannibal you know. pals. Yes. We just, uh, we're very active. We're a very active community. How old do I have to be again till I can oh, retire in there? You are nowhere close, darling. Come on now. I'm 47. I could be a, oh, 47? That's not what you have in your character sheet, by the way. Is it? What did I <laughs> You're put? You're 42. You're 42. Well, well, we're changing that now. I'm 47. <laughs> 47 I said now. It's canon now. I could be a mother. Oh, you're aging overnight. <laughs> I could be a mother. No. Uh, well, I mean, it's retirement age. Well, technically, it's 55. But you got to, you know, I'll tell you what. When you hit 55, if I'm still alive, you know, God willing, mm-hmm. I will absolutely 100%. I will gladly serve as your sponsor. I would appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. You know, I was I was trying to get them to agree to, you know, to bring old Bessie here onto the, you know, onto the grounds, but ugh, mm-hmm. they wouldn't have it. Nope. Nope. Not at all. No. Nope. You I know mean, how it is. Eloise if they'd is be just willing, a, I could oof. help watch. I could stable. Oh, that's very sweet of you, but no, it's, an, it's just a non-starter. Non-starter. Who's Eloise? Oh, she runs the leasing office. Gotcha. She's a real battle axe of a woman, but she's a sweetheart, you know, but a battle axe, but a sweetheart. You need that, you know, especially for like the leasing office. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Making sure the riffraff stays out. I mean, we're trying to. I mean, now we got to vote later, you know, we're going to vote later today, whether or not we got to, you know, we'll see if we're going to start allocating funds for more, more security. You know, we've got, we're already going our own private security. Thank God. Because the... The police out here, like, take your time. Oh my goodness, you call nine one one, and they'll get to you in a week or so. But you know, we got the private, the private boys. They're they're quite good, and we're thinking about increasing it. But you know, that costs. You know, that's funding, and so we have a vote later mm-hmm. today, and then you know, we'll see how it goes. I mean, after what happened, I don't I don't see how everyone doesn't vote yes, but yeah, so be it. You know, we're thinking, we're thinking of putting up a, a proper, you know. 
more, uh, what are those things called? CCTV footage, th that kind of thing, you know, like little lampposts here and there and stuff. You know, we got a few here and there, okay. but just by the gates, but we never really put them like around the neighborhood now. Some on the clubhouse, mm -hmm. but never around anywhere else. So we're talking about that too, you know? Yeah. Anything else you want to ask? You got four successes. Is there anything else you want out of? You just let me know. Okay, I'll think on it. Okay. For one of the pills. And oh. She'll share her drugs with you. What are the chances that I could try do? Can I order those pills from you? Oh no, you're much. Oh, stop! You're much too young for this. No, no, they're they're an old person pill. You know, it's like you the the big old tablets. The kind of yeah. Dina, are you having, you having trouble with love? Are you yeah. just, is this someone special? Yeah, I just met him recently, but. What, what you gotta do? I really do? wanna impress him. You gotta clean this up, you know? You look like a handbag. Come on, you gotta wash the face. A little moisturizer wouldn't kill you, you know? Yeah. And what is this? This 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 rag on your head? Come on now, show your hair, show the colors. You got curls. It looks beautiful. I just I was hoping for something to help out. You know, it's not a wonder pill. Well, it sort of is. But all right, I'll tell you what. You can't tell anyone I did this. You oh, can't. Of course not. I got. I got to warn you. It's one of those um, still under FDA testing or something. It's it's not properly approved and everything. You know, we got we have to sign waivers and everything. So just be careful. If you get any kind of strange side effects and such, you know, it takes a little while to get used to. You know, mm -hmm. you you're gonna get some constipation. It's gonna be difficult. Okay, okay. You know, you might be a little snappy at first. So I would recommend you don't you don't take it right off the bat. Like you just okay. you take it in the morning of your day. You don't take it right beforehand because then by then the edge will wear off. Because otherwise okay. you just want to like you know bite his face off or something. Oh, so, okay. okay, I'll give you two. That's it. That's all I can give you. That's all I can give okay. you. They they very very carefully, you know, they track it. They track the yeah. pills down to the pill. So what I'm doing is I'm sacrificing two good days for you. You are amazing. So you're going to sacrifice two good days for me, and you're going to take care of Bessie free of charge for two months. You got it. Okay. She reaches I into really a like giant this guy. bag. Oh, what's his name? Where is uh, it? His name's That's Thomas. Sure. Maya, Maya, are you kidding me? Thomas was my, uh, was my hubby's name. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'll give you three pills. One second. You're <laughs> going to get yourself a Thomas. And so she picks out three pills and she puts them in your in your hand. Who's the, who's the doctor who's working on this? Oh, some young fella. I don't know. I don't even know if he's really a doctor. Like, he could just be, a, you know, a nurse, a medical person. There's a few of them that come in. I think okay. they're like interns or something. It's not like a proper doctor. But we do get one who comes by ever so often. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Drebin, that's his name. Doctor Drebin, he's wonderful. Oh. Yeah, I think Wendell. I've heard about him. Really, he an odd name. Of... No one's really called Wendell much these days, huh? I yeah. love it though. I think it's wonderful. His parents must have appreciated a good solid name. I would imagine they don't live there though. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Of course, dear. Now, good luck. You know. Thank you. And again, take the frack off. Show what, your What head. moisturizer do you use? And oh, then, and then they just... It's just Juggins. <laughs> okay. Wow. They just gossip for a little while longer. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, Maria, did you ever figure out your role for your... Um, so for your I know drawing? I have three successes, and so it's kind of whatever you kind of set for the, the difficulty. But I did get three successes because with the autonomous, I just roll five straight dice. Okay. Here's what we'll say. Um, it's daytime. And so you got your drone flying about. Um, so it's going to be visible. And it is Arizona. So it's pretty, there's not clouds. It's like it's, it, you know, unless you fly it super high up. Uh, so, and it's a drone. Is it like, like is, like how, like how souped like, up is your drone? Um, 
I would say like I would want to be flying it high enough mm -hmm. to be stealthy. Okay. So I would sacrifice information for stealth okay. if that makes So sense. with three successes, you're gonna have some trouble. You get some info, but you're you're gonna notice that like the higher you go with it, you're ha it's having a little bit more trouble. It's also a very windy day, uh, as as happens often in, in Arizona, and especially out west. And so you're you're getting to the point where it's not. It's just like you're it's like you're tri driving a really big Pinto. It's just, everything's just kind of it's never really going quite the direction that you want. Um, but what kind of information would you have been trying to glean with it? Uh, my the information I was looking for was like comings and goings of um, of like it, there's probably locker room, but is there anything else that has like different logos or okay uh, you I mean you definitely notice that that just your normal uh, like kind of package deliveries and stuff will show up uh, you can see that there while today there's doing a, there's a big water delivery so you can see that this sort of crystal truck comes in and so you're kind of delivering individual water containers around here um, while it's up there you can see that there's it's extraordinarily active there's people like on the tennis courts there's people on like the shuffleboard courts like there's tons of people that are outside doing things everything's kind of going crazy um, you do notice that at one point you recognize one of those kind of Valley Medcore vans kind of come pulling in, kind of pull up and parks in the in the parking lot near the clubhouse. Uh, you see someone kind of pop out, go inside. They don't come out immediately. They'll come out after about an hour maybe of your drone, and it's like it's time to pull your drone back. They still haven't left. So you're, you're, maybe you would sort of put two and two together that maybe they're employing whoever runs the one, runs that clinic. Um, you don't. You see a lot of people like in the pool, all that kind of stuff, people coming and going from the clubhouse. It, I mean, if you didn't know what you knew about it, it just looks like a community. Like it just looks like a normal run of the mill retirement community. Plenty of, plenty of activity, the type of activity you would normally see, but everything has to kind of get checked going in. Everything's kind of get, got to get flagged going in. Okay. Um, and I may not be able to get this with the role that I had, but is there, any designation of like VIP parking? Like, are there any spots that are, you know, kind of like designated mm. with any, um, like there titles are or anything like that? Only, only by the leasing office. And that's for the people who work the leasing office. Doesn't that's, okay. that's it. Okay. Anybody else doing anything? You, you all, and you also already have the, the sort of uh, changeover schedules for the locker room folks. You already got that last time they were here. So, and, and, and like how many, like there's anywhere between like four and six there could be depending upon how it kind of shifts, something like that. So, I'll say at some point, everyone's doing their little, you know, their, their various tasks. Sometime later in the day, you meet up with each other, find a place, sit down, grab some food, whatever it might be share your info what's what's next what is this crew gonna do so i'm assuming dina would share the information about the um cctv going in soon oh yeah she she tells you guys everything that she's like yeah i was talking to some of the people who live there here's the hot goss kind of thing can you tell us about the pills you got oh yeah yeah do you take one um <laughs> can I see one? Yeah, uh yeah, here here's one. Kind of look at it. What's it look like? It is it it almost looks like a Flintstones vitamin. It's it's a big tablet. It's kinda it's it's it it looks like the type of thing you would probably want to drink with water, else you like if you're if you're the type of person who kind of freaks out about with pills, it's very big. Um it definitely can be mashed up into powder. And like even just you can just kind of chip away. It's not a capsule or anything like that. Uh, and you see, like on on the front of it, there's just like a like a big D carved into the front. We got to get these analyzed and find out what's in them. See if it's reversible. Yeah, I can tell you what's in it. And I'll, uh, wherever we're at, I assume there's like a blunt object somewhere that I can just start mashing it up into mm -hmm. powder. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'll snort it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You, you can just gotta check my flaw. It makes perfect sense. Steven, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, thank you for playing with us these past two sessions. This is a great way for her to go out. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, it's going to be stamina plus uh, resolve. Your difficulty is going to be, let me check the danger really quick. Oh, God. <laughs> your difficulty is eight. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Uh, only because it's up by it's not it's not by default. I can then. only get five. Uh, you can get you, crits. Can, you can get crits. Uh, tens or crits? Mm -hmm. Two tens or more. Yeah. Shit. Well, uh, make we'll... it a seven because I think seven is the is the furthest you can get on difficulty. So make it a, make it a seven. So there's certain difficulties right, I do so... like this is the base difficulty that I add like what the danger level is you know that kind of thing. Uh, spending a willpower mm -hmm. to re-roll three. <laughs> does this match your uh, and creed? It is five successes. It does not match my creed. Wow. Um, but no crits. Okay. Five successes is still pretty good. What I'll say is that it doesn't affect you immediately. There's a delayed effect. But you, you snort it. You bam, bam, bam. You do a quick snort it up. Nice one big shot. You can feel it kind of in the kind of almost behind your eyes. Your eyes kind of water for a second. And you can kind of feel it sort of in the back of your throat and kind of like shake your head a little bit. You don't feel anything. What the hell is wrong with you, Rena? This could be the very thing that was making those old people turn into psycho cannibals. And I mean, you never know until you try it, but not, you're a I think it was just a vitamin. You could we could There's have nothing. just taken them onto a lab and had it analyzed. Exactly. We got two more. We can still do that. And you, I, I think she did state specifically that uh, it it makes you feel like you want to bite someone's face off. I look at Rust. <laughs> Rust looks back at you. Rust Didn't pulls she... out the big Bowie knife that he now has. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Didn't she also say it's going to make you constipated and you should, like, eat some prunes first or something? Uh, Just don't think I mean, about these things. I think seem I'll be have, okay. Doesn't seem I'm to have done anything to her. about the face ripping. Well, let's take at least one of the other pills to actually have it analyzed by a lab. You know, Maria, I'd also be interested to see if we can get a sample of those drugs that's going on in that club to see if it's the same thing or close. That's true. We uh, did postpone our evening plans to go to the club. That's because right. if it's the same thing, we might be able to track it back to where they're actually manufacturing this stuff. And finding comings and goings from a club is probably a bit easier than that place, which is about to get uh, pretty buttoned up. If it's if it's the same problem, we may be able to follow it back to its source and stop it there. But we got to get samples from the club and we got to figure out what it is. And that's not by snorting it. I never liked you. <laughs> never asked you to. That's that's fair. That is fair. And every like 90 seconds, Maria is just sort of looking at Rena just to see if like anything has changed. Where are you? We didn't. We kind of hand waved it, but it's kind of important now. Where are we? Um. Why would that be important? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we. I mean, we could be in Maria's van if we were driving back from the west side. Maybe we were going to Maria's house. All right. Let's get crazy on the road. <laughs> okay. So, been driving for a little bit. Yeah. Maybe about. 10, 15 minutes pass by. And who's sitting where? I'm assuming Maria's driving. Uh, let's say I'm in the passenger because I crushed it on the dash. Okay, so you're shotgun. Okay, yeah, Kyoti and Dina are in the back. Sure. Yeah, Kyoti's behind, uh, behind Maria, behind the driver. Okay. Rena? <laughs> Start to feel a little something. Start to kind of feel a sensation start to take over. 
kind of look at your hands, and you just... They look... Well, they're there, all right, but there's something different about them. They're kind of glowing, almost, in a way. You feel like... Hmm. Reach out. Kind of just take your, your nails and just kind of scrape down the dash. You just kind of carve through it. One of your nails kind of plucks a little bit. And Mario, you can see that your dashboard now has this rake of nails going right down the middle of it. Uh, Rust, Dina. What? Son of a... And Rust will stick his bowie knife into Rena's ear. Oh, God. Okay. Suffer not the enemies of the light to live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Contested action. Uh, go ahead and roll your uh, your melee attack. Uh, let me check your stats here, Arena. You're actually going to get a boost. <laughs> hey. oh, oh, dear. Gosh. Oh, God. Aaron. Actually, I appreciate your Trust face is because best, this is like she Dino, is like new character. to this group. Like, so yeah, much. she's new to weird, too. And then. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm bringing it up because like, we haven't. Okay, melee I combat. I know how to find um, what's in this pill strength store. plus melee <laughs> mm-hmm. contested. Uh, so go ahead and roll that. Do I get a bonus because he's not I'm expecting a, it? A veterinarian, right? Uh, like, yeah, I could have tested the drugs. <laughs> uh, what I'll say is, yeah, take a yeah, take an extra yeah, take an extra die. Uh, sure, take an extra die. Uh, but Rena, your senses have actually. You hear everything. You hear the engine. You hear breathing. You hear the sounds of like the movement, the shifting of the weights in the seats. Uh, And you also just feel ridiculously strong all of a sudden. You can go ahead and increase your strength to five. Uh, And then you can go ahead and roll strength strength plus melee. Temporarily increase your strength to five. Yeah, go for Question. it. Question is is does this count as a supernatural encounter? So can I use my desperation dice? Hmm. I need that's more a great dice. Question. You know what? I uh it's kind of letting the cat out of the bag a little bit, but yes, uh we'll call this a supernatural. You, you can go ahead. I and think we it. had an idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Okay, uh two tens, a six, a six, an eight, a third ten. And and then I'm going to spend a willpower to re-roll three dice. No ones on the uh, desperation dice. Another ten, so two crits and another six. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Damn. thirteen successes. Holy shit! Oh my gosh, Rita, 13. how did you do? I'm spending a willpower. <laughs> <laughs> well, the three desperation dice helped. I mean. Yeah, that popped my pool up to you know nine dot ten dice. So nine. Better roll well, Arena. (laughs) Oh, sorry, I muted. Uh, Just seven successes. I thought I was doing pretty good with seven. Seven is very good. Uh, So you've got a knife. You've got uh, the damage to the knife is I think what plus. It's uh, one. I think I have it in the. Please say I put it in here. Weapons and armor. I feel like the gun was. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, a knife is. Let me see. It's not a. It's a switch, but what kind of knife is it? Is it? A, it's a Bowie knife, it's you said. Bowie knife, yeah. Um, Arizona toothpick. It's close. Yeah. I mean, a switchblade is plus two. Arkansas toothpick, but we're in Arizona. Sorry. So. And a broadsword and a fire axe is plus three. Oh, then two. It would be yeah. closer to a I think two. Pl- yeah, let's go. Let's do plus two. Uh, okay, plus the difference. So two plus your difference. So it was thirteen versus seven. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's that's eight points of damage. Uh, as Rena, how many? How much health do you have? And that's aggravated damage. It's um, aggravated. I have six health, and I already had five superficial. So. You you so you you see Rena just kind of scratch down 
she's kind of shifting and moving. You can see she's kind of twitching here and there. And then from behind, Russ just tries to jam the knife. Rena reacts, but not fast enough as the knife just goes right into Rena's And he, he grabs her head and he's got it halfway in and then he just pulls his hand back and he just slams it into the pommel of the blade so that it goes pommel deep into the side of her skull. Dino? So for oh not the enemies God, and the light to what live. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I didn't like her. I told you that. She wasn't uh, a good person. I want out. Uh, Maria, what the actual fuck is wrong with you guys? Look... Russ is not the murdering kind unless there's a reason. Are you kidding me? He just killed her. I, yeah, she he was did. no longer human. Look what she, she did to the dashboard. Even if she wasn't like, she just took a drug. Like you come down from that eventually. No, they didn't. You, if you'd have seen them tearing they human take beings it every apart, day. if you saw them tearing human beings apart and eating their bodies while they still lived. You wouldn't want to be in a van with one of them. It was her or us. So, Maria, I'm imagining for kind of we're driving down kind of a street that she can kind of pull off. Mm hmm. And uh, okay. There is now like you can see Rena's body is just kind of kind of twitching as she's she's kind of her like she's she's dead. But like you can tell the body is still kind of twitching here and there. The drugs are kind of coursing through still. So you can see the muscles are still spasming something fierce to the point where you just see like an arm just kind of raise up and kind of flop around here and there. And she's sort of moving in the seat. Maria, Rena is basically Katya's adopted daughter uh, at this point. Um not anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, All that's right. fair too. All right. All right. <laughs> just 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 hold on. All right. My my windows are not tinted. Let's get her in the back of the van. Oh, that's get true. Her. Russ, Russ yanks her back into the back of the van, grabs one of the plumbing tarps, the and starts rolling her up. R- hold on. Hold She's twitching hold the whole time. She's not like like she's just it's 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 almost it's eerie actually. Like a body at this point should have like it's a good two, three, five minutes later, she's still twitching, muscles spasming. Uh uh I and like Dina's looking at herself to see if she's covered in blood. And if Oh, oh Dina, you're gonna be I've been no blood. Yeah, You're, but, but until it's I pull in, it out. Yeah, once you pull the knife out, but once you pull her into the back seat, like there's a dead woman spasming yeah. next yeah. to you in the back seat, Dina. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. freaking out. Dina, Dina, go ahead. Don't worry. Composure, resolve. I think Dina, and we'll treat this uh, as a difficulty four. Yeah, Maria's wanting. She to... saw. You just saw a woman just get flat yeah. out murdered yeah. right in front of you and you're not fully in yet and maria you can roll that too as that's fine yeah 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 that's i need to spend Dude, you know right. what <laughs> slightly <laughs> under his breath breath uh rust is whistling the itsy bitsy spider as he works with the tarp mm-hmm. rust mm-hmm. you yes. gotta cut that shit out you gotta cut oh, that sorry shit maria out. sorry it, it's it's just such a catchy tune it, I still n- failed. Not not the time. How bad? Not the time. Uh, I got a three out of four. Okay, take one point of superficial willpower. Okay. Wow. Don't worry, Dina. I'm not going to pull the knife out until all of her blood pools in her back. Russ, and then it shut won't ble- up. Shut up. Why, sorry, why, sorry, why, sorry, why, why would you tell me that? Like, I didn't. You, you, see, not, you were saying don't, n- you didn't n- want to n- get n- blood. N- buddy. Stop. Just you, uh, stop. Everybody sorry, Maria. Just stop. Uh, that's four successes on the uh, composure result. I mean, you're keeping it together, but you do know Katya is going to be very upset at this. Yeah. Very upset at this. Uh, so this will uh, be something you'll have to contend with at some point. Figure that out. What do you guys in the in the immediate though? You have the dead body that is still ten I need minutes to later. Do something like um, a like a fish that's been taken out of water and it's just flopping around like crazy. Can I take the back of my gun? 
um, like we're not in an area that a gunshot is going to do anything, but I'm just trying to. Well, 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 what are you reaching her. for? Your, you're not going to kill me, are you? Not you. She, this is. She's fucking dead. I know, but what? she's still moving. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's so okay. I'm just going to like she's hit the body down. upside the head with the butt of the gun and see if I can just get this twitching to stop. You're just going to start bashing her head that I heard. Uh, Dina, you, you should back up now because this is going to get blood. I'm not trying to I'm pull just over trying to the side to... of the road. Maria, you get into the back, take the gun out, and just start bashing the head. Of... She's over. What are you doing? It's okay. She... Let it out. It's good for you. No, Sister just... LeBlanc always told me it's uh, good to let it out. Neither of you are helping this situation right now. None of you I'm are just... acting normal about this. You just killed a fucking person and now you're fucking hitting her head? I no, I, we killed a monster. Her to stop. And she Twitching. wasn't nice. And like Dina's Does hands are in the air. When I try to like hit her. Yes, you hit her in the head. It makes a very loud thud sound. Uh her her head starts the skull starts to eventually cave in at a certain point after you smash it enough. And blood is starting to now kind of Looks like gush out of her eyes and nose and ears, that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, eventually it will. uh, Within uh, once the drugs run their course. uh, No, not not quite so much. Uh, I'll say so. It's been about ten, fifteen minutes since you killed. Probably in another five more minutes. Uh, So after around twenty minutes, the body seems to finally finally stop. See, Dana, that's not natural. She was no longer of the human race. You know what? I think I need to make a new character. (laughs) (laughs) Rena, not Rena, I'm sorry. Rust and Maria, both, uh, you guys both roll awareness tests, uh, wits, I think, because this is all happening kind of fast. Oh. That's not such a good thing for me. Ah. Three successes. Okay. I didn't get so many successes. Like, I roll so many twos and threes. Eight, ten, nine, five, five. Uh, three successes. He rolls D100s instead of D10s. That makes it easier. <laughs> that does make it easier. It's How'd so easy do? to give it above a six on a D100. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so I got a 94, easy. an 83. <laughs> How'd you do, Maria? Three successes. Okay, both of you got three. Yeah. As you guys are, are, you know, smashing your head in, Blood is starting to, to, to come out now. You also notice, though, specifically with the head bashing, you're seeing kind of like the skin sort of repair itself, like within moments. Like you can see like you bash it in and you got like this what? abrasion and it's like kind of starting to stitch itself together again. You can see that her like her the bone structure itself where you, you kind of smashed around near her temple here and there. and The head kind of got all kind of cockeyed a bit. You can see it's even almost kind of starting to repair itself. It's not super effective. You can see it's struggling to, and even like the the restitching of the abrasions, it doesn't seem perfect. Like you can see it doesn't go all the way back. Like it hasn't fully attuned or so to her body, but there definitely seems to be some kind of regenerative effect that's trying to take hold. Um, the fact that you did so much damage right off the bat is either is, is is you would probably presume it's either slowing it down or it's prevent kind of preventing her from like just kind of you know reincarnating or something like that. You see that, Dina? You see that? That's that's not human. Corpses I, don't I'm, heal. I'm not looking. I'm, no. Just look real quick. It's just heat. It, the body's healing. That's not that's not human. That's a creature of the abyss. She chose her path, and we freed her soul back to the light. But there, I, I mm, and I didn't like her. You, you got you got to stop with that. That's not a good enough reason. You don't no, kill people, just people I would never like kill them. a. I would never kill a human being I didn't like. But a monster I didn't like, I think that's fair game. But there's something about the fact that Dina's friend takes those pills every day yeah she lives there in the community that you guys wanted us to research right exactly 
I don't know how they're controlling them. But like I said, they let them all out they have, two nights they have, ago and they, they free hunted and they hunted and tore to pieces two dozen homeless people and ate them while they were alive. So I don't care what she looks like during the day. When they let them off their chain, they are feral beasts. And what do you do with a rabid dog so it doesn't turn on you? You put it down. And Rena was a rabid dog. I, I didn't mean to say that like she was a bitch or anything, but I did kind of think she was. <sighs> Rust, you just... You're right, this has and you're to be right, a nightmare. and you this... stop being right. There's I know, Sister LeBlanc always tells me that I, I, I shouldn't just say whatever I think, but I'm not very good at that. I... And Maria just sort of it's like, all right, we need to we need to get off of this road here. We need to uh, regroup. We Dina, either need to find a crematorium or a construction site to bury your body in. So and then Russ the... takes her phone out and breaks it. Okay, so you break the phone. No problem. <laughs> That's gone. So what is the plan? Are you going to go dispose of the body? Yes. Okay. I mean, your your hunters. So it's this isn't this isn't the case. I mean, other than Dina. So I feel like you would probably have some sort of connection for doing so, um, especially like a construction construction site. I think Maria would probably have some knowledge of that, considering her field. Um, so what I'll just say is, roll. Let's do a. Let's just do a, a test to make sh just to see how difficult it is, perhaps, to find a place on short notice because this is relatively yeah. short notice. And something we don't necessarily need to work through all the way, but like Maria will loop Katja in. Like it's not something right that off she's the bat. Like tell Katja after about later. Are you gonna wait to get rid of the body first? No. You're gonna tell her now. Yeah. Okay. That seems like what Maria would do. Okay. Tell her her adopted daughter turned you, to no, hell. No, I don't, I don't oh, need, sorry, I, don't, no. I, don't, okay. I don't need it. I don't, no. So you get on the phone. You're driving. You get caught, yeah. She answers. What is it? Um, what's what's gonna, the problem? What are you calling, calling during the day for? Gonna need you to... Uh, Meet me at the uh, the new spot. Uh, right now? Yeah, right now. Um, yeah. This is a face-to-face -face conversation. Mm. All right. What's uh? It's not all me. right. What's going on? No, 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 no. It's not. But uh, yeah. Okay. So you have a new spot. Okay, so we'll go ahead and say roll. What do I want to do for this? Um, probably like a maybe a streetwise or something, and like a wits or an intelligence. I don't know. What do you think? Is this for uh, everybody or? Uh, I mean, if it's if Maria has a specific spot in mind for Katya, I'm assuming like this, that Maria and Katya have sort of like a. This is where hands. we dispose of our bodies. Uh, spot is that is that what this is or I'm not sure if this was like just a spot to meet her or just a, a spot... yeah just a spot to meet just like we have kind of like rendezvous point okay. set up so I'm assuming That's fine. we kind of have a shorthand. Do you like, take the body with you means... or do you try to dispose of the body first? Take the body with. Okay, so you take the body with you. You pull up. What, where where is the place? Describe the place, Maria. I am going to say that it is. Um, a it's like a park so it's not like a like middle of the neighborhood park but it's sort of like a um like a walking trail kind of area okay a little bit outskirts ish Who and goes? she's going to turn to rust and she's going to say this is a conversation i am having oh uh, okay Understood? 
I, I, I'll, 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 I'll go over there. Hey, Dina, um, I, I broke, I broke Rena's phone. Can I borrow your phone again? Yeah, you can have it here. They, they, that's very nice of you. Thank you. And he goes over to call Sister LeBlanc to fill her in on this new wrinkle with the drugs and everything. Okay. All right. Do you tell her about how you just like you, you oh, killed yeah. Rena? Oh yeah, he confesses everything to Sister LeBlanc. You definitely hear some concern on Sister LeBlanc's voice. Like, I think she um, was turning. She was turning, and we were all at risk in the van. Her nails were able to cut through the dashboard. I saw what those things did in the compound, Sister. I couldn't let Maria get killed like that. I hear what you're saying, I hear what you're saying, and I understand, but she was a soldier with you. And, and we freed her to the light, even though she was a dirty mercenary dog. You, well, even those can have some uses. Now, did you- She got me this knife! Did you try to bring her back? Did you know if she could come back from that? We didn't know, but we were traveling. And she was turning at that at that moment. Hmm. I just let the training take me where it had to, to take me. I did right, right, sister? There's a great deal of hesitation. And then she never even answers your question. Maybe you should come to the church. Maybe you should come. We can okay, sister. Have this conversation Maybe. in person. Maybe I should come to the church. Maybe you're right. How... How how are you doing otherwise, Rust? Are are you you sleeping okay? Are you? Uh, I found a new place. It's warm. It's near. It's near some vents in a building, and and that's nice. Um, but every once in a while, when I look in the mirrors, I'm not looking back. Something else is. So, but I know you you told me that's just because I'm tired. So I'll, I'll try to sleep more, sister. I'm sorry. But the vampire, I'm, I'm worried about the vampire. Right. Sure. Yeah. But I'll, I'll come to the church. I'll come to the church, sister. I'm sorry. I I thought I was doing right. But I'll come to the church. Okay. Happened again, huh? Well, well, we'll just have to find you a bed here then, won't we? Thank, thank, thank you, sister. I think Maria's Make sure. mad at me. Well, but... We'll cross. Yeah. We'll cross that that issue off later. I, I could. I couldn't let her die like Elaine did. I. I. I just couldn't. I couldn't do. That. And I didn't like Rena. But that's not why I killed her. I mean it. Uh, sure. But uh, I'll, I'll come to the church, sister. As soon as the as soon as we get done here, come and to the church. Sister LeBlanc hears Dina kind of faintly in the back room. Uh, help, please. <laughs> Dina What's wants that? to come to the church too. She's a new friend. I, I don't think she likes me very much, but she wants to come to the church too. Uh, a new She's friend. a hunter. Well, I think she wants to be a hunter. I know I'm not sure anymore, but maybe you could explain things to her better than I can. I, I think I think Why I just don't scared both her. of you come to the church. Yeah, both of you come to the church. That sounds like a really good idea, Rust. Okay, Dana, we can go to the church. Do you want your phone back? You you can have it. He snaps it in half, throws it away. Okay, okay we'll go to the church. <laughs> okay, so the two Dana of you Dana just are... wants to keep him calm and happy. <laughs> okay, sure. You're just lingering around the van or something like that while Maria yeah, goes. Yeah, give, giving them yeah. space, yeah. Yeah, She's, okay. Well, Dina's as close as she can get to Maria, like, in keeping space between Rust and Maria. <laughs> okay. And Rust uh, is giving her plenty of distance. He's sure. staying in, in line of sight in case she needs him, but, but he's keeping his distance. Okay. Uh, you find Katya. You're, you've got some distance. Um, eyesight still over the van where Dina in in Rust are, and you see Katya. She comes up. She's got her own car. She's there. She looks at you. Uh, I'm gonna say you probably have a, a speck or two of blood, probably from the bashing mm -hmm. and the moving. No, it's not crazy, but you probably have a little bit. She kind of looks down at that. She looks at you. I'm here. What is it? Uh so we were uh continuing to uh follow up on that uh that trails uh job that we had um 
There were some pills. Rena decided she would snort them to figure out what uh, was in them. And she uh, turned. Turned? What do you mean? She um, had heard that the pills. Uh, Damn it, Maria. Spit people. it the fuck out. Rena's dead. Her jaw just like goes hard. What do you mean, Rena's dead? Well, uh, we were. The pill didn't have an effect right away, but we were uh, driving down Grand. She was in the passenger seat of my van. She uh, started turning right there. What do you mean, turning? What is she turning into? Uh, well, I'm assuming the uh, cannibal vampires that were eating the homeless people. Pills don't turn people into vampires. You I fucking taught you better than that. This one appears to do something along those lines. So the pills, she took a pill, she turned into a vampire, and what, the sun killed her? Uh, no, no, um, that was... He, he, he stabbed her in, in, in her head, in her ear. So, Dina, do you and get close enough to <laughs> shout Maria that out? just sort of turns around and yeah. didn't realize that Dina was there. And and Dina's going to try and, like, circumvent more towards where she's on Katya's side, like, holding her hands up. She, Katya, like, takes a big, deep breath. Is this true? Yeah. He, uh... Doesn't even let you get to the he, uh... She immediately whips around, gun out, and starts firing at Rust over by the van. <laughs> Right off the bat, doesn't you get you said yeah, and she should oh, turn fire. Shit. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I do too. uh, okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll dexterity athletics for your for, to dodge out of the way. Not uh, a strong suit of old rusts. She is a she is a hunter. Okay, you've established that, Maria, so she's not bad at this stuff. Let me, I'm just going to see what her stuff is. I did roll uh, a 10, actually. <laughs> so, crap. I got two successes, so I'm going to spend a willpower to re roll okay. a couple of dice that failed in hopes of doing a little bit better. Not how I thought this session was going to go either. Nope. Okay, three successes. So, okay. not real good. Six not for so her. Yeah. Uh, so six says uh, six six. Uh, so she's gonna fire. Uh, we're gonna treat this. Let me take the take a look at the weapons and armor again. We're gonna call this uh, just a twenty-two. So three uh, three differential plus two. So that's five points of damage. As she just turns and she just unloads in the direction of Rust, who's still over by the van. Dina, you've moved away. We'll say we're probably, I don't know, 20, 30 feet or so. And so she just fires. Uh, so that's going to be a total of five, I said, right? Yeah, okay. five points of damage. Three three plus a differential, so that's two. Um, okay. Rust fires back. Do? Okay. So, um, well, okay, let's just let's just do a new, new round then. Okay, okay, so you start firing. Uh, Maria, Dina, what are you doing? Maria, what trying are you doing? to unmute <laughs> uh, I mean Maria's gotta pull her gun out and see if she can try to you see Kyote he, he takes a couple bullets and he immediately pulls his gun out and starts firing back so there's now gunfire and Katya is like She's doing one of those arms out, firing, and kind of slow walking in the direction of Russ while this is happening, making no attempt to dodge. She's just fire, 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 unloading. Russ pulls up his gun to fire back. Maria and Dina, what are you doing? All right. Can I? Katya and Russ are firing. That's what they're going to do this turn. What are the two of you doing? All right. I don't want to step in the middle of gunfire, uh, but I would like to pull out my gun, and I would like to make some sort of a roll that is a like a talking, like... Katja, this is not like I, I've known her for a while. I'm trying to 
you can do this, but that will it. not stop the fact that they're firing at each other. I'm they're firing guns. They're firing f- bullets. Like so, like they're gonna keep doing that. the 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 time it takes you to utter a sentence, they're they're modern weaponry. Yeah, they're gonna unload clips. a bunch of yeah. So, uh, um, Dina's I mean, taking cover. Okay. Do you, All right. is Dina just booking it and hiding somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Easy uh, enough. No problem. I will try to uh, tackle Katja. Okay. So. You're really, next I'm going to have to make a new person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think everyone might. I'm going to uh, make a hunter. So let's do. Yeah, this Kat- is a little too intense for somebody. <laughs> that, like, is yeah. it yet a hunter? <laughs> um, so if you're trying to tackle her, she's trying to fire at Rust. Rust is trying to fire back. Go ahead and roll. Let's do what? A, probably enough. We could do brawl, no weapons. You're just trying to like kind of tackle her down or something. So do strength plus brawl. Oh, thank goodness I put one pip in brawl, so I'm at least rolling three dice on this. <laughs> For Rick's sake. I didn't roll a 10 this time, so. If Rust was closer, he would have jumped her, but he's not. Oh, for yeah. I roll so Gave low. Gave him their space. Uh, <laughs> what happens when you fill up your willpower? I'm trying to decide if I want to do this or not. Uh, you become inca- I think you become incapacitated, right? Or uh, no, not incapacitated. Uh, what's it called? Um, Is that a fugue state? No, 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 no. That was oh, something no, that's special. That's when aggravated. Yeah. That was, no, that was that was something special. That oh, was okay. the effect of the creature you were dealing with. Got um, it. Where is it? No, you, you become impaired. So impairment occurs impaired. when you fill your health or willpower tracker. It doesn't matter if it's superficial or aggravated in a combo. Uh, you lose two dice from all relevant pools. Uh, and when and then if you continue to take damage, it's converted. You're converting from superficial to aggravated. I feel like this is an important thing to do. So, is it going to affect the roll that I'm doing right now? No, I think it's after. All right, I'm rolling three dice, so I'll take it so that I can re-roll the three. Okay. Ah. I feel like Steven's just like, eh, you know, I'm not going to be here next week. Let me just screw up Rita and it's going to like get everybody killed. I, I think honestly, exactly I was know. playing it to the flaw. I took the flaw <laughs> living on the edge and it yeah. says if there's a yeah. drug, you're going to take it. It yeah. literally it does. says that. I yeah. almost yeah. took that one. And if I had, I would have taken the drug. It's okay. It's okay. One success. One success is not going to be enough. You will, however, uh, bump into her uh, to the point where it'll kind of throw her off, which means her shots towards Kyoti will probably uh, be penalized in some way, or I'll increase the difficulty. Uh, so then, what we'll do, since Kyoti and her are just firing back, are firing at each other, we'll just uh, we'll just roll this as contested, um, and I will, yeah, contested. What is it? Composure plus dexterity, I uh- think, for you. Right? Uh, composure plus firearms. Firearms. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yep. yep. Okay. So composure plus firearms. She's just got a normal number. Let me see. All right. Go ahead. So I'm going to spend a willpower to reroll three dice. I'm going to lower the difficulty by one because Maria kind of bumped into her. So I got a crit. So okay. that's four, five successes. All right. She got two. So you got four. Uh, f- uh, and then you're using what kind of gun you're using? 32. Okay, so that's gonna be so it's four damage from the differential, and then uh, and it's then just a handgun, so probably let's see. Um, well, a nine millimeter is three, and then a 22 is three. two, it'd be okay, three. So three, 32 would right. be three, yeah. So it's what, uh, seven total, seven damage. all aggravated, all aggravated. She falls. She's dead. Okay. Did she hit me though? <laughs> uh, well, it's it's. I think it's it's yeah. very. I think it's. Oh, whoever like we got do the, with act okay. Yeah, it's the same thing okay. with acting. Thank Kalu, yeah. God. Yeah. So you both fire. Uh, the bump though, like as Maria bumps her and kind of knocks her off balance, Katya stumbles and her shots go wild. You they they spread across the van that you're near, uh, but they don't hit you. You fire back, and. You're not getting bumped, and so you just, and then she's an older woman. She's strong and she's capable, but you just unload on her, and you get like a couple shots center mass, and she falls. Sister LeBlanc taught me how to shoot. Uh, 
It's okay, because if Frosty got hit, he would be dead. He has one block of, of health left. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. And that's when Dina kind of pops up, and she looks at Maria, and she's she's shaking. And she's like, uh, his sister said that we should go to the church. Yeah, Maria, I think I think we should go to the church. I, I, I'm not sure I'm going to make it, though, so if I don't, make sure that she gives me the last rites. Sorry about your friend. And then Russ kind of sits down. <laughs> Maria just goes over to the back of the van and she's just like opening the doors and she's just like slamming shit inside. Like she's just like beside herself with just anger at this whole situation. Dina, you're hiding. No one's bothering you, apparently. Yeah. But yeah. you just saw a woman in, uh, Katya was like in her late 50s or something like that, I think. Um, you see Katya, the, the, this woman who you've never met, you don't, well, actually, no, you did meet her. I you met, met her, her at, she was at Elaine's funeral. Yeah. Yeah. You so see, it's another person that they knew that I watched them kill in cold blood. She shot yep. first. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> that's Dina's, true she did. <laughs> uh, if, if they both stepped away from the body, she's going to look. Uh, like quickly on Koch's body for her car keys and she's going to get in Koch's car and leave. I, as long as no one else is, is, is anyone going to interfere with her with that? Like Kyoti or, or Maria, are either of you going to interfere with Dina doing that? Uh, <sighs> Kyoti is in really bad shape. So he just kind of waves at Dina. Thanks for the phone. See you at the church. Okay. Maria, oh you're slamming. I'm going to say, you said you were slamming doors and stuff. So, Dina, yeah. you go, you grab the keys. Yeah. Yeah. Maria, you hear the sounds of wheels screeching and you see Katya's car is driving away, but Katya's still bleeding. You know, she's dead on the ground. You know, she's dead. The grouping was great. And then you look around, you don't see Dina. You see, you see Russ like slumped against your van, bleeding, kind of holding, you know, holding his, his torso as blood's beginning to sort of soak his shirt. Um, you have the dead body of Rena in your van still. Do we want to end here and pick this up next time so it gives you time to think about what to do and other people to make backup characters? Yeah, I need to make a different character. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think oh, yeah. let's end here. Let's end here. So like, because there's a lot we should probably think about how this is. It's two dead bodies in the back of the van is where we end this. Okay. And day. Dina on the run, soon. getting ready to go to the police. <laughs> Dina on the run. Yeah. Oh my God, Dina. <sighs> you were going to be a hunter and now you're not. <laughs> You probably made the right call. Yeah. Oh my probably God. made the right call. Actually, I feel so like, bad that you have to make a new character. If shit didn't go fucking as bonkers as it did today, it would make sense oh for God. Dina to join. But then Rust killed a, <laughs> like his friend, and I'm like, oh, there's no fucking way at this point Dina's in. I didn't like her. She was not my friend. Oh, God. Who's even worried about vampires here? We, we've got some serious teamwork issues to work out. I know. That's what I think is great. Is like, you guys did all this to yourselves. <laughs> I didn't even do anything tonight. Kyoti <laughs> was just shit. trying to protect Maria. That's, that's I all. loved it. I was just shocked you rolled so well. I didn't think you would have one shot so well. Dang. Like that was insane. Well, it's those those danger dice. Once you say it's supernatural, that's his creed. Is yeah. direct confrontation with the supernatural. I was like, I'm gonna mess the you pill up. is <laughs> supernatural. I mean, sort I of. Would come back at you. Oh. So, it's, it's so that if, you got me first. If he hadn't rolled as well, it might have been something that we could have maybe like seen the regeneration happening. Well, she'd have killed us. So I did tell Steven in message, I'm like, in about 10 or 15 minutes, just go fucking crazy on them. I did say that. <laughs> like, those were particular instructions. Wouldn't have lasted forever, but like that would have had. I said, I said, think PCP. Like, you know, like basically what you're doing. Yeah. So. Uh, but actually, Man, you're or... totally right, though. Like, it would not have made sense for Dina no, to be no, like, no, yes, no. this is something I wanted to. Dina should hey. find herself in, say, I don't know, Montreal in the morning just, or something. Just somewhere where there's where there's there's green. Just 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 drive away, you know. Yeah. And I get the, I loved her. I like I think too old to Twitch said it. Like when Long comes back. So what did I miss, guys? <laughs> well, I see. Lane's dead. <laughs> Rena's dead. Kyoti is dead. Yeah, killed Kat, Katya and Rina. And, uh, I mean, but how's the result? If she got one more shot off on Kyoti, 
we yeah. we I'd be making a new character too because he yeah. got messed up. Yeah, I gotta I gotta. I, so I roll my I do the thing. What I do is I just roll one die. It's one of the options. Like they she has a stat block, and then like most things, and I just use the the default difficulty. But then I roll for some variants. I'll roll a a, a d10, and if I roll a ten, then I'll increase the difficulty. But otherwise, you know, it's fine. And I just happen to roll it right then, which I thought it was dramatically appropriate. I, so. I, I was expecting him to die as soon as as soon as Maria said that Almost. she was calling Katya. I was like, "Here's where Russ dies." Because I know not I was going to expect her to go crazy, and he's going to get killed here. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I wasn't sure Melissa it was. I was like, "Well, I think Katya's going to." Yeah, kill I was like, like "Oh shit, Melissa's trying basically. to kill him." <laughs> yeah, and so, I really wasn't. It just didn't seem like yeah. the kind of thing in their relationship that she'd be like, "Oh, by the way, I you know, know. very makes sense. Them. It all made perfect. All Everything was beautiful." Everything was logical, <laughs> like everything in the sense of I see why this happened. I see why that happened. I could see the, the well, connections. Jeff, uh, thanks for letting me a uh, guest star on your show so that I could be brutally yeah. murdered. Sorry, and Steven. Everyone else to yeah. murder each other. We were on the rails, and then we were like, you know what? Yeah. Fuck it. We're off roading again. Steven, <laughs> like if you ever want to come back for Hunter, just let me know. I think there's going to be some openings on the Hunter cell. You, you know, Jeff, I was actually thinking, man, Rena's a fun character. I would love to bring her back. If if someone can't make it to a session, I'll play Rena again. That, that'd sure. be great. Yeah. Well, she has yeah. a she has a sister named Tina. <laughs> there you go. I want to follow like Tina any better. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't chew gum. She just has like blow pops and lollipops. I feel so bad. I really don't like RPing and like telling someone to shush. But I was like, I really feel like Maria would just tell. Oh Russ no, to it, shut was up right now. it was beautiful. It was perfect. Like, <laughs> he needs to be shut down I, a lot. I mean, yeah. Nuts. Like, I think. I think Rust. I think. <laughs> I think that's where LeBlanc is starting to feel like, oh my God, the dog's off his leash. Like we gotta, <laughs> he's getting a little rabid. Time to bring him back. I don't know what that bed in the in the church might be. That might, it might not be a night. That might be a. There might be straps associated with that or something. <laughs> well, he's taking he's taking one of those pills back with him for mm-hmm. Sister LeBlanc to analyze. Oh, I haven't. I didn't give them to you. I I have <gasps> two. Dina took them. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No. Oh, All right. well, there goes our ability to investigate that. Well, you could, might... you could track her down. Yeah. yeah. It looks like we got to hunt Dina. Well, now, there's a thought. There's well, now a thought. there's a target that gives on me Dina's back. More time to make so funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Well, uh, that was crazy. Uh, let's do some plugs. Uh, let's see, Aaron, what's going on on Garblack? Next uh week. next week we've got the uh finale of city of mist on monday on tuesday we've got coriolis on wednesday um we're running some uh age of sigmar soulbound on thursday lewis is going to be back for the one ring uh and then on friday lewis is going to be back to uh run some D fifth edition Awesome. And also check the Garblog YouTube channel next week when they drop uh, the, the our, our Blades in the Dark episode. The last one of Nays of the Dusk, Nays of Dusk uh, should drop probably sometime like, either over the weekend yeah, the or beginning it. of next week, something like that. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, that was the end of uh, end of part one or chapter one, season one. Yeah. Everyone them. And uh, although we're not playing Octoon Cthulhu this coming Thursday, the following Thursday, we'll be partnering with Modifius. They've asked yeah. us to do an actual play of a couple of chapters of the Force to Fear Force as part of fear. their Winter of Fear uh, event, and uh, Jeff oh. and I will be uh, will be playing in that for I'm six weeks. Excited. I'm so extraordinarily awesome. excited to see Aaron's character and Megan's character. I'm not going to spoil it, but it'll there's be, reasons. It'll be a good I'm time. so excited. It'll be I'm very so entertaining. See them. You think Rust is going to have some issues? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> some issues. <laughs> But if you get a chance, uh, tune in live ahead. because Modifius is giving us a ton Giveaways. of stuff to give away. Giveaways so. for sure. Yeah. Uh, and Matt says it's going to be really good stuff too. So uh, uh, so definitely come check it out. Uh, Steven, when, do you, when are you coming back for more Haunted West? Yes. Uh, not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that, November 1st. We are starting yes. Arc 2 and we'll be going on for uh, four episodes uh, awesome. weekly again, 9 p.m. Central. A uh, mm-hmm. couple familiar faces, couple new faces. Uh, Alvin, you know, uh, might be coming back from that risotto and finding himself in the weird west because yeah. he doesn't want to go back to this group. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, These people are crazy. Uh, and then for us, 
come back tomorrow. You can see all of, I think, no, all of us, but Steven, Steven won't be there tomorrow, but we're going to be playing some Orbital Blues. Really, really fun. It's a third session of a four session arc. Uh, so come hang out with that. A uh, lot of fun. That's Cowboy Bebop, Firefly type stuff. Uh, then on uh, Monday, we'll be back to Holler for Savage Worlds, uh, Appalachian Holler. Apocalypse. Holler. And then uh, let's see, next Friday, it's a Mothership Friday. So come check us out for Mothership. And we'll be back in two weeks with more Hunter. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raid our friends over at the Defenders of Cobalt. Uh, so go ahead and follow that. Uh, click the raid now button. Ask Chuck about his feet, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Come back tomorrow and watch some cool stuff. Uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye.